This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Previously on Acquisitions Incorporated. Due to unforeseeable orb calibration issues, Omen Drawn, Jim Darkmagic, Walnut Dawn Grass, and Viari have been stranded in Ravnica, a magic city known for its gathering. Orbs, how do they work? These orbs are crashing down toward you. Make a dexterity saving throw. Walnut? Yes. I need you to be better. <laughs> All right, dexterity save. I mean, it's pretty easy, really. It's just a... <laughs> oh, no! Uh, oh, man. I need you to be better. <laughs> <laughs> as as the sphere lands on top of you, you see this swirling purple cloud. Omen's skin turns in the color of that cloud. It's fine. <laughs> and there is an audible as a little bunny rabbit tail sprouts <laughs> at your back. Dude, this is extremely her shit. Okay. Okay, and any more? Or just that? The elephant man says, Get away from those spheres! There is a sudden arc of lightning between the two of them, and suddenly, Evelyn Marthane is expelled onto the metal floor. Where am I? You're in Ravnica! You also see behind you that lightning jumps into two giant suits of armor standing on either side. Intruders, intruders, I need you to roll initiative. Ah, uh, wow. <clears throat> I've rolled a natural 20. <laughs> You've seen Evelyn and yeah, you're yeah, for yeah, yeah, action. Exactly. And Viari, since you're in front. <laughs> I have actually read about this. I have the Ravnica book. These are Viari killers. <laughs> and they're not that bad unless you're VR, and then it's the work. Real bad, yeah. Oh. After a fight that only needed Omen or Jim to have ready Dispel Magic ahead of time. Can I cast Dispel Magic? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to cast Dispel Magic, um, and I'll do it at the fourth level. The armor goes still. <laughs> yeah, I turn around and I say, Ms. Marthane. Omen. For Omen, there are no failures, only opportunities to impress pen pal Evelyn. Uh, well, you may not be aware of this, but there is, uh, they call it uh, Violetti. Oh. And it's a, uh, a skin treatment is a rare berry. It's applied to the skin, and um, so if, that's, oh. if it's a problem, then it will go away. But if you like it, then of course it can remain as long as you like. Well, I'm, it, you know, you should express yourself however you see fit, always. And I mean, fashion's fashion, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's uh, another situation handled by Acquisitions Incorporated, obviously. Is it handled? Oh, thoroughly. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I have secured a new world. This is... <laughs> Uh, I, didn't, I didn't mean to intrude or anything. Oh, absolutely not. You can't intrude. The entire world is, is uh, mine. So Jim thinks this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Amid the wreckage, a helpful planes-hopping gnome tinker appears by the name of Vi. She's holding what looks like a giant rifle. Well, what the hell? This is a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> Upon this, I think we may find a green Madam. You must have heard of Jim Dark Magic. Oh, honey, of course I have. Oh, you know what? I've heard of Jim Dark Magic. My friend Strix says that he used to maybe be kind of good at magic, but he sucks real bad now. <laughs> she has a disease. She's you could get, get her get her help. <laughs> it's attacking her brain. Vi, how did you get here? And is it still open somehow so that we can just go back through it this afternoon, perhaps? I've been studying blueprints of that strange device by an inventor named Zim. We're going to need two things, my friends. First, that is a special substance. They call it Omniglass. There are only two places I know of in this world to get it. From the guild hall of Is It? Or you can go down in the dark undercity ruled by the Golgari Swarm. Are they cool guys? They probably aren't, but there's another component they'll go after first. Here in this city, they've got a giant tree. Okay. Tied to what they call the world soul, Mat Celestia. You need some of that connective energy to unlock the portal to get home. See if you can find a dryad boy to come help us. I don't like this place again. <laughs> Fighting off a flesh gargoyle attack.
The party travels by airship to a big tree I had to draw even though the boy druid they wanted wasn't even there. The tree's boy, Elm, is not here. He joined the circus. <gasps> you guys have a circus? <laughs> what are we doing at a tree? It's also circuses of blood. Circus of blood? Do you not know about the cult of Rakdos? No one had heard of the cult of Rakdos. Upon arriving at the Circus of Blood... Do we see any blood? You don't see any blood. This is great. This is it's, the just, it's just a name thing. It's Maybe, not... It's Maybe name. it's about getting your blood boiling. Exactly. Yeah, getting your blood pumping like yeah. you're excited. Jim Dark Magic suddenly has a front row seat to the sanguine three-ring carnival con carne of hot chopped meats. Now, grab a plate and tuck in your bibs. It's time to make a selection from the upcoming party skewer, unless you happen to be Rakdos intolerant. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. It sounds to me like you're ready for some blood. <laughs> Joining us tonight in the Racto Circus of Blood, we have our brave players. We'll see how many of them survive those whirling blades. The first one, Jerry Holkins as Omen Drawn. Next up, tonight we have a su surprise guest, Morgan Webb as Morgane. <laughs> Returning for more Rakdos fun is Amy Falcone as Walnut Dongrass. And of course, we have tonight's star, Mike Krahulik as Jim Dark Magic. Tonight, we have not just one surprise guest, but two. Our second surprise guest is WWE superstar Xavier Woods. <laughs> who will be introducing a character you will soon find out is named Bobby Zimarewski. <laughs> I am Jeremy Crawford, playing the role of the Dungeon Master. All right, Jim. You are standing on a stage in the center of this Racto Circus. Now, I assume I've had a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I think, I think ah. in the last second, your entire life just passed before your eyes, so it almost feels like a long rest. Okay. <laughs> Does that mean I get my spell slots back? I'm afraid not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did you have to try it? Yeah. All right. These blades are coming in, whirling at you, and you can <clears throat> see, Jim, as death is whizzing right toward your face, that each of these blades up in the rafters of this tent is being controlled by a clown in an emerald green outfit that matches the emerald green of the ringleader. And they, you can see, <laughs> have this like joystick and they are trying to aim it straight at you. Also, standing next to you still is the bound dryad right. boy that you came Elm. here. His Elm. name is Elm, and you need him to open up the portal back home. That's right. I need you all to roll initiative. All right, let's get it done. Wow. Uh, 
It's if you don't want to show, if you don't want to put a camera on my dice tray, that's fine. I don't think there's any reason. Oh, holy shit! Wow. Actually, actually, that's kind of a terrible thing. So I'm gonna waste all my good rolls now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get all the get all the good rolls out front. Wow. The of okay. All right, Bobby. What did you get? Twenty. Twenty. Yeah, baby. Nice. <laughs> Omen. Uh, well, I, I got a four, but I have a negative one initiative, so that's a three. <laughs> Jim. Nineteen. Not bad. All right, all right. And Walnut? Uh, a nine. Nine, all right. All right, all right. respectable. That's... Uh, uh, Morgan, I'm not so gonna have you roll With, with your natural that's elven great. swiftness. Because, yeah. What did it, I mean, what did it end up? No, that's uh, no, fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's really not important. Initiative is like a state of mind. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> all right, you will remember that outside, standing on either, flanking the entrance into this big tent are two pearly skinned giants wearing spiked gimped masks, <laughs> leather harnesses, and you see now that as the blades have come out, these two giants have pivoted and have now blocked the way out of the tent and are staring intently at the stage. I just, I want to welcome you to our normal. I mean, this is like <laughs> a, this, this really is a normal, this is how our normal lives operate in this game. And if. We could have told you ahead of time, I guess. This is completely normal for me, too. Okay. So. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a regular day at work. <laughs> All right. The crowd is wild. And you now hear them yelling, Blood! 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 <laughs> you don't have to do that. That's messed up. Oh, and my God. I actually felt real fear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. And the ringmaster standing down and in front of the stage with his arms upraised, thrusts forth each hand, and shooting out of each hand is green flame. Green flame! Oh, I like that. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Bobby, what do you do? I Those blades are not only coming in toward this human you've never seen before, okay but directly at your buddy, Elm. My best friend. Oh. That's, that's your boy? No, that's my boy. Oh, shh, okay. He's got some problems, but I'm trying to take care of him. It's like the Big Brother program, yeah. you know. <laughs> but for trees. Yes, but for, for, for young trees. trees. Yeah. It's, the, it's the Big Sapling program. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, how close am I to this pit of, of clowns? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you are within 10 feet of the stage. The clowns are 20 feet up in the scaffolding that is holding up all these crazy whirling blades. You can also see other performers starting to swing around on the trapezes that Viari was eyeing. Uh, and the giants are directly behind you because you are standing at the end of the ramp that goes from the entrance of the tent straight down to this stage. Okay, how many whirling blades are there? There are... Let me count them up for you. Jeez. <laughs> there are six, six of these whirling blades coming in. Dope. Our, uh, first thing I'm going to do is, is move. All right. <laughs> I'm going to move close enough to Elm to protect him with my body. Then I'm going to rage. All right. <laughs> so, so Elm and Jim, they are on a little platform in the center of the stage that raised up about eight feet. But where you are, and what's your movement? Our Goliath friend. So you all see this hulking guy near the stage with what looks like cheese on his mouth. Uh, a dusting. A dusting. A of gentle cheese. dusting. I think it actually, because we're at a circus, is sort of like cheese whizzy. <laughs> I forget where movement is. I forget. I'm not very good at Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> ah, right there. You. Uh, you 40 you feet. Have, you have a 40 foot. Wow. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. You got that stride. Quick. Wow. Very accurate. Wow. <laughs> All right, so Jim, this guy you don't know comes bounding right up onto the platform. Uh, it's not a great time for autographs. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do this, Bobby, the ringmaster goes, and we have another sacrifice. <laughs> or just, you know, one. 
<laughs> there will be no sacrifices today. And I'm going to uh, swing my morning star at these spinning blades in an attempt to shatter them. Nice. All right. Make an attack roll. That's what we need. That's what we're looking for. I mean, I rolled a seven. <laughs> All right. So you swing wildly, and it's a miss. Cool. <laughs> you have another attack. Yes, I do. Aha. <laughs> Twelve. Wait, I'm supposed to be adding something. Yeah, oh, you yes. have a, yeah, yeah, hold on. So back it up. So back it up. Oh, yeah. Back it up. Really like up. I said, beep, beep, beep. We're, we're new we're still. Back. We're new still. <laughs> so wait. So, okay, so I add my strength. Yeah? yeah. No, I'm adding this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, so I got a 16 the first time. You hit, my friend. Yeah. I hit. Yeah. I hit. Yeah. Yeah, I hit. Let's make sure we yeah. add that. Yeah, you got to add. Every time. Every time. Always add. My basic math skills are going to be exposed today. Okay, so that was a 16, and then my second one is a 20-something. It's 20 even better. That, that, yeah. yeah, it's better, better. So, okay, so now... Well, let's roll damage for the first okay. hit, because you might be able to bank that other hit for a okay. different blade. Okay, so we got a... a five plus five, ten. Ten, all right. You slam into it, and there is this bong in, in the circus, and a crack starts to appear, but it does not break. But it is now actually wobbling is on that, its apparatus. Is that better? Yeah. No. <laughs> they were chanting blood, so I don't care about the audience anymore. <laughs> I'm just trying to destroy it. All right, you hit again. How much damage okay. do you deal on the second hit? Uh, ten. Ten. All right. You shatter it. <laughs> but now I need you and Jim to both make dexterity saving throws to see if you dodge the shrapnel. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Jim can do this. Yes. Yes. Uh, 15. Yeah. 15. You manage. Four. You both nimbly dodge out of the way. Oh. Actually, How does Elm do? I'd like Bobby, I'd like you to roll for your buddy. Oh, boy. <laughs> if he dies now, what, the, what do we do? Right. We'll find, listen, we'll find something to do. Okay, cool. We're at the circus. Big money. 15. Nice. All right. Yeah. And he also has a plus one, so and 16. a plus one. Okay. All right. So Elm manages, even despite being bound, manages to, to dodge out of the way. Uh, as this happens, uh, the MC then looks to the crowd and says, We've got spirit in these ones. And <laughs> he, he, thrusts out his palms again, shooting forth jets of green flame. Green flame! And both of the giants with the gimp masks on start slowly making their way down the ramp toward the stage. Oh. Is Right Said Fred playing? <laughs> <laughs> Jim, what do you do? Uh, Jim is going to... Um... He's going to reach into, uh, into his robes, and he's going to pull out a, a length of rope. Yeah. He's going to get the fuck out of here. No, I, I toss it up, and it disappears about five feet above me. And I, uh, I reach out my hand to Elm, and I say, I've got, you know, snacks up here. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if he, I'm hoping he comes with me, but I, I hustle up the rope into this dimensional portal. And poof, Jim is gone. Did, does Elm come with me? I'm like... So he'll have to go on his initiative. Unless okay. you want to try to actually carry him. Uh, I don't have the strength for that. I, I definitely make him understand that this would be in his best <laughs> interest. Uh, you know what? I'll put some coffee on. I'll be waiting. <laughs> so when this, when this happens, the, the ringmaster actually looks surprised looks up at the stage for a moment and just goes, well, shit. <laughs> magic! He promised dark magic. It's true. We got to sell it, right? But I leave the rope hanging out. All right. At this, the giants come rushing down to the stage, and they push people away in case anyone else is going to try to rush the stage. In the process, they brush aside Evelyn, and you all, except for you, Jim, because you're now in your, 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 your private den. Mood lighting. 
some candles going, yeah. yeah you, have, you have Hugh, Philip's Hugh. It's nice, <laughs> yeah. As the giant slams into Evelyn, there is suddenly an arc of golden lightning over her, the same golden lightning that preceded her appearing in Ravnica, and her features begin to stretch. It looks like space tears open for a moment, and Evelyn is sucked into this dimensional tear and is gone. But the tear is still there for a moment, and there is a strange blinking blue crystal down on the floor where Evelyn was standing. Now, the clowns. <laughs> and, and the clowns. It makes it so much worse. Yeah. <clears throat> but, Bob, you're the only one on the stage. Let's go. I'm raged up. Let's go. All right. So, one of the clowns <laughs> causes one of the blades to come whirling at you. And what's your AC? Uh, my AC? That's a good question. 14. 14. I got an 18. Oh, okay. 18 is higher. Mm. This giant <laughs> whirling blade comes in and starts grinding into your, your midriff. You take 33 slashing. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> hold, what? hold, please. Hold, please. Hold, please. And, but, but, I'm, but I'm all raged up. That's right. So half it up. No! 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 no. no. I'm just a boy! Look at what you've done. And, as, as Bobby's blood sprays out into the audience. Oh my God. It's oh me. This is a new feeling. Yeah. There, we, don't get out of, we don't get out of here tonight. <laughs> there, is, there is suddenly an emerald light, words that burn in green flame over the front. Green flame. Over the front rows of the audience, and it says all around Splash Zone. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see, you can see that the regulars have pulled up tarps oh, shit. as the blood <laughs> splatters over them. All right, Bobby, another one comes zipping in. Jeez. Now, Hold on, I gotta do the math well, now for the he, first one. Did he get to take half damage? Yes, because yeah, you're raging. Yeah. And crowd participation, half of 33 is? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the meta I never even thought to do that. I just used my fingers. <laughs> it's professional. Yeah. That's why he's the pro. All right. Another one comes whizzing in, mm -hmm. but gets a 14. So you dodge right out of the way. And then a third one comes in. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. 17 to hit. All right, that's another 33 slashing oh damage God. that you have. 16. Now, <laughs> there are two more of these blades, but you notice these crazy clowns are sort of bringing them in toward each other, toward each other's blades. Since you haven't gotten to roll anything yet, Morgane, please go ahead and roll a 20-sided die. I want to see where the blade ends up. L high, oh, low. Oh, wow. <clears throat> All right, the crazy clown driving this one, because you rolled a one, saws right through one of the other blades, and it goes whirling into the splash zone, and you just hear a sickening ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Blood, 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 blood. Right in the chairs. Yeah. All right, there's a chance the final blade is going to do the same thing. Please roll again. High, it goes for Bobby. Low, it's going for one of the Whoa. other blades. Oh. 11. Low. So where does that, where does that put That's us? Low. Not yet an adult. That is coming for you, my friend. Oh, it's, uh, yeah. But this time I got only a 13. <sighs> you survived the blades. Walnut, what do you do? You also, uh, in your, your little critter form, yes. looking around, notice that as this apparatus came up, not only the stage, but also all of the, the machinery that revealed the blades, you have completely lost sight of Viari. Great, wonderful. What do you do? Um, 
Well, other than uh, start pre-writing the letter I'm going to write to Omen about Viari's performance in my head, <laughs> um, I am going to uh, come out of my weasel form um, because I feel very vulnerable, um, and I'm going to cast Blight on the on one of the giants. All right. Um, what's what's a Blight? Oh, a blight is nasty. So they have to, a necromantic energy washes over a creature of your choice. You can see within range. Um, he has to make a constitution saving throw of 17. Ugh. No way. The Big giants, I mean. Money. Got only a nine. <clears throat> yes. All right. Okay. So necromantic energies? Yes. Guess how much damage this does. It is 8d8. Are you fucking? What are you talking what? about? 8d8. It says that in D&D Beyond, it couldn't be more clear. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be running this company, all right? All right, four, oop, 11, uh, 19. Oh. Keep track of how many I'm doing here. Uh, what's that now? 20, Yeah, you lost me. Yeah. Roll lower. I mean, uh, 20, count of this. the dice, yeah. Oh, no, 29, 32. Okay, this is your last I one. I can hear Kate <laughs> Welch yeah. doing that for me. And then one more. It's a seven. seven. Oh, 39. 39. Good God. Points of blighted damage. All right. This spell just devours <laughs> moisture, and both of the giant's pecs just pop. <laughs> <laughs> yucky, yucky. Wow. And it looks really hurt. Yeah. Yay. Those are, those are, those are the inside parts. Mm. Oh, man. What do you do? <sighs> Take notice of my great performance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> right, so Jim is gone, as is Jim. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm nearby. Won't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, in, in a manner of speaking, in another plane, cosmologically, yeah. you could not possibly be farther away. It's true. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to figure these things out. So we, there is a, a raging, roaring giant up on the platform. I can't really see the bleeds. Uh, Viari is gone, but I definitely think that these giants who are on their way up are going to create problems. I mean, eventually they're going to get to that stage and they're going to start creating more problems. And they were legitimately trying to hold in a tent full of people so no one could get out. But um, what about this crystal? <clears throat> oh, that's right. And it is Evelyn's crystal. I'm just, I'm just saying, like... Something to consider. <laughs> I just, all this stuff is happening, I just see this little twinkle. Hmm. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll walk over. Um, I'll walk over and take a look at this crystal. It's just... It, <laughs> it's such a slow walk. Yeah. I will casually saunter over. I, I saunter 30 feet per round. Wow. All Ooh. right. It's impressive. It's so, so with deadly blades whirling above you, <laughs> blood spraying above, you saunter <laughs> to the glimmering... <laughs> no, no, this is how it has to do. I go and I kneel down and a saw goes <laughs> right over the top. <laughs> so... Do you pick it up? I do. All right, the instant you pick up oh, this glimmering sapphire. <laughs> oh, boy. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh. But that's oh what I, man. But that's yeah, that should what, be okay. I stay making that kind of saving throw. All right, are we ready? You're wizzy as hell. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, it's plus eight. Now, that, does, does that matter? No. Um, oh! Twelve. Twelve. All right. Here we go. You take nine psychic damage as golden lightning arcs from this sapphire into your forehead oh, and no. then shoots also from the sapphire over to that dimensional rift and then completes it so there is a triangle and you actually feel like a tug in your brain. <laughs> and as it tugs, you, for a moment, feel like you're reliving like the last 10 years of your life. And for a split second, you think of Morgane, who then suddenly is launched out of the portal and falls down on the ground. <clears throat> and as she hey. falls down, this rift stitches shut and the sapphire stops glowing. I rub the middle of my forehead and I say, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. How you doing? Fine. Uh, I, there's a lot of saws and blood. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> you said blood circus. I love a blood circus. 
<laughs> All right. Elm looks desperately up the rope, but his hands are tied. Oh, fuck. <laughs> should, have, should have cut those bonds. So more game. You see this Goliath up in sort of desperate battle, bleeding up on this stage with whirling blades about him. Cheese. A, and cheese on his mouth. Uh, next to him is this boy dryad, and there are two hulking giants right in front of you with gimp masks on. Cool. Hey, so um, who's a friend and what are we trying to do? Okay. <clears throat> Anyone with a gimp mask okay. is not a member of our team. Okay. For today. Today. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I say, very quickly. Mm hmm Okay. The dryad, that's the whole point. Yep. If we get out of here with the dryad, we have won. So anything you can do to accentuate that outcome uh, will definitely be uh, marked on your permanent record. Okay, great. So I'm going to cast uh, Conjure Animals. Um, I think two... Plural? Yeah. Animals plural? Well... I remember this spell, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like today we have some options, gentlemen. <laughs> Um, There's a menu. There is a menu. I have cards. Um, we can either do a swarm of centipedes, four swarms of centipedes, to bite them with their tiny little face stingers. It is a personal favorite of mine. But we could also go more traditional tiger. We can have two giant tigers. I mean, I'm here for you as long as you pay me on time. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and historically... Uh, and the, you have done an excellent job of that. Yeah. I, need, I, will, I, I do recognize You're that. the only person that I do pay on time. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's tiger related, frankly. Yeah. Um, I, I say, do you know tigers what? Tigers sound great, right? I, I, I say, uh, I, I leave it to you. You've earned that. You've earned that. Thank you. I appreciate that respect. It means a lot to me. Um, tigers. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like the, and who would, who would I be if I would deny the audience of a blood circus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Some hungry ass cats. Blood! Blood! Tigers, send in the tigers. Yes. <laughs> so we have two tigers, one for each gimp giant. Perfect. As is traditional. As is traditional. Yeah, send them in, put them to and work. And since they're 20 feet away, uh, they are going to get an extra pounce attack. Nice. So the target oh, must have succeeded on DC 13 strength saving throw, although they're probably pretty strong because they are gigantic Yeah, yeah they're giants, yeah. But Let's we're going to give them a shot. Never know. Their pecs exploded. Yeah, that's true. The, that's most their of their strength. All their strength exploded. is held in the pec. Yes, of course. Everyone knows this. The, both of the giants succeed ah, on their strength. Yeah. They just stand there. But they're tight. Okay, fine. Um, then we'll just do a weapon attack, so it's plus five to hit. Um, does... Uh, uh, don't stress me out, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve. Hmm. No. Okay, cool. I'm going to roll for the other tiger, though. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, 16? Hit. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you want. Okay. It's a magic number. So, eight damage. All right. And was this... Sorry, it's going to be really more exciting in a little bit. <laughs> Now, is this on the healthy one or the peckless let's one? Go the pe let's go peckless. All right. Pick on him. Yeah, yeah pick on peckless. It's just <laughs> dripping from <laughs> non chest. Fluid coming out? <laughs> yes. But it is not uh, red blood that's coming out. Oh, he was juicing or something, you think? Yeah. It, 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 <laughs> it actually has the same violet color as Omen's skin. Nasty, dude. I'm gonna do this right now. What would that, why would that be? Yeah, what are you into? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby. Hey, what do you do as yes. work? Uh, I'm so going. it's not your turn yet. Oh, okay. The ringmaster turns up toward you and says, I think this one needs to dance for us. And he twiddles his fingers and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh no. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. You got this. Not bad. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Not bad. 
Negative one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seven. That's a, right. that's a win, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. He then jerks his hand this way, and oh. you, feeling like you're a marionette, suddenly hurl yourself into one of the whirling blades. Oh. Oh. But you get a dexterity saving throw. Yes, I do. Okay. All right, okay. and this is going to be. And there's a something. Good I have like point. some sort of dex bonus. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Upper, my stuff is all on the upper left. Okay. Oh, oh, oh you yeah. don't even need it. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Look at this. All right. <laughs> now, you still slam into it, but because of your successful save, the damage is halved, so you take 16 slash sting damage, which you then have again, so you take only eight. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. But I feel like it's weird. I'm, people are cheering because I'm taking half damage. I'm still getting crushed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> See? <laughs> By the time I meet you, you're just going to be a pair of shoes. <laughs> a pair of wet We're shoes. Covered in cheese. Yeah. And as Bobby, more of your blood sprays into the crowd again in green flame. Green flame! The word splash zone appear again. <laughs> the cry of splash zone is a little quieter this time. <laughs> And from underneath the blade that flew into the crowd, <laughs> you just hear someone go, help. <laughs> Bobby, what do you do? Um, how far am I from the portal? Jim, how far up is uh, It was only like five feet up. OK. So yeah, this rope is right there. OK, I grab my friend, Elm, and throw him into the portal. Nice. Yes. Because what's your strength? My strength is 20. 20. My strength 20. is 20. He's a small boy. He is. Little he, boy. Just like a shot put. He is, yeah. I just, <laughs> he's a skinny boy. He's a skinny boy. All uh, right. How far am I now from the clowns? All right. They are 20 feet up. OK. Is there any sort of ladder or uh, maybe some sort of uh, curtain I can gallivant Ooh, That's up? tasteful. No curtain, but there is the arm that the bl each blade is Ooh, on. Yes, this is, yes, this is yes. what we want. Yes, there is. Give me yes, that there juice. Is. Yes. Okay. Jim, you're joined in your den by Elm. I hand him a drink. Uh, <laughs> thick my, furs everywhere. <laughs> my hand, <laughs> sir. <laughs> this is awkward. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have a little knife or something. I, I, I cut, the, cut the bonds there. Oh. And I, I prop him up in a, in a cushion. This only lasts for an hour, so enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully when we pop out of here, everything will be done. He... <laughs> he, he he looks with terror through the portal yeah. at the blades whirling right outside. I, I think it's a, quite a show, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby, what do you do? Uh, I am going to perform an athletic maneuver. <laughs> so the arm of the spinning blade, I'm going to jump to one and like wall jump off of that to the plane where the clowns are. Oh, beautiful. Yes. I celebrate this. And we're just going to let that ride, right? All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, already, first game. I'm going to have to ask you to make a strength athletics check. Strength oh. athletics? Oh, this is, yeah. Okay. You got this, this one, man. 14 plus strength, 20 yeah. plus athletics, 9? It's yeah. like 100. It's like 100. It's like 100. Plus, you actually get a full plus 9 on that. Plus 9. So you're up at 23. Yeah, so when I, while I was jumping, I'm at an addendum. As I was jumping, I'm, I'm doing a backflip into a side turn thing while I pull out my morning star and clock one of the clowns in the head. Nice. And depending on how I roll, well, I, I guess after I roll. Yeah, go for it. Go. I'm going to count you tossing Elm as one of your two attacks. Yep. Yeah. So here you have your second one. Okay, here. So 15 plus, plus 9. Yeah. Four. 15 plus 9. They know, dude. That's <laughs> 24. Yeah, 24. I said 14. I'm yeah, taking yeah. points away. So for 24. So as my morning star sticks into the side of the heads of one of the clowns, I imagine they're small clowns, yes? Yes, they are. Tiny clowns. So the morning star sticks him in the temple, <laughs> and as I continue to whirl him around, I throw him down beneath into the blade. Well, let's first see how much damage you do. Okay. Okay. You wanted blood! You have your blood! 
Yep, they love it. They're thirsty. Okay. They are thirsty. So, <laughs> a thirsty crowd. <clears throat> yeah. You gotta hurt them. Two, five, seven. Plus three is ten. All right. So you hit with such force, and these are frail clowns, yeah, yeah. that as you sweep it off, it's going to get a dexterity saving throw. You didn't quite kill him with that, but he might go over. I rolled a one. Yes! Mwah. 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 One less clown. <laughs> The, cl the clown goes down right into one of the blades. And I am sorry, you two. You're in the splash zone. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. So Omen, Morgane, and both giants just sprayed. And as this happens, the ringmaster yells up, Sir, I have a job for you. <laughs> Oh, I love a blood circus. <laughs> so great. Jim, anything you want to do in your den? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, exfoliate? Maybe I could do like a, no. I'm going to scrub. <laughs> I'm going to uh, lean out, and I'm going to do a magic missile at the uh, giant that's losing his peck juice. All right. So his pea juice. Everyone sees the top half of Jim. <laughs> Poke out of midair above the stage. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to do three bolts right to his face. So that's three damage. Oops. Six. Eight. All right. Plus three, apparently. I did a plus oh, one no. on each one. Oh, no, no, they were just bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. The, the giant is hit, 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 but it is still standing. These guys are beasts. Well, I did what I could. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Just a struggle. Yeah. All right. Elm, Elm looks at you and he says, whoa. I'm a wizard. You're a powerful wizard. <laughs> One of the most powerful, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Morgane, the giants, they go for your tigers. Meow. Oh man, this. <laughs> this you hear this? You can kill people, but not animals. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> All right. Does a 26 hit? <laughs> <laughs> Turns them inside out. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're rugs now. All right. <laughs> one hit. No, yeah. no, it's like a transmute. It's like one hit, rug. Rug. <laughs> Each giant has a chain wrapped around okay. its fist, yeah. and it, it slams into the tiger. The tiger takes 16 bludgeoning damage. OK, cool. Still up. All right. And then it does this swoop with its fist and wraps the chain around the tiger's oh, neck. Oh, no. Cool. And the tiger is now restrained mm -hmm. by this chain. The other giant tries to do the same thing to the other type. Oof, it also hits. Wow. Same deal, 16 damage to it, and cool. it is restrained. Okay. Bad day to be a tiger. Yeah. Yeah. Although I'm glad that wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Let's be pragmatic about this, Yeah. right? They are just, you know, fake, you yeah. know, fake creatures summoned to look like back. tigers. Exactly. They're not actually even tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan should actually turn to Omen and be like, you know, they're not really tigers. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, they're a temporarily congealed flesh, sure. Yeah. But, you know, it's just a wrapper, like a gum wrapper. Yeah. <laughs> and keep in mind, as, as you're having this exchange, blood is oh, dripping oh, yeah. down 100%. your face, oh, yeah. Harry style. We're just, trying to, we're just yeah. trying to make the best of a bad, a moist <laughs> situation. This is why you always try to sit in the front at a blood circus, it's because you get this. It's more value. Yeah. I know. Good for the skin. I can't exactly. either. Morgan just goes to blood circuses. <laughs> it's she was at one. She came from one. Yeah, she yeah, came yeah. from one. Yeah. <laughs> like, she had to go to a blood circus, but at least she was going to a yeah. blood circus, yeah. right? It's like. One of the clowns on the opposite side of the stage from you, and you're now, you're up above. And I'm mad. <laughs> and you're now at the same level. It pulls back the lever of its blade and angles it up toward you. From the bottom? You, he pulls Ooh, the lever sir, up. Sir, the sir, sir. is coming up. <laughs> That's a tender region. I need that. Yeah. 
All right, this is only a 13 to hit, but that's a miss. So, but the other one tries the same thing. Oh boy, and it, and it hits. But I need someone to roll for me D6. I got you. Oh boy. If you roll you. low, no. a mess is gonna happen. Well, no, that's, what, that's all I can roll. Complete right. calamity. Oh, come on, come on, I believe in you. No, you don't, you don't really? play with him a lot. <laughs> no, no, you should do it. All what right. it matter? Wowie zowie. What did you get? Six. Nice. The number of the beast. All right. <laughs> Bobby, as this blade comes whirling up at you, you notice it came within one inch of slicing through the beam you're standing on, but it just misses thanks to something in the fates. Some mysterious force. I looked at the heavens and... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And then you take 33 damage. What? <laughs> what? It wasn't. It, oh, it kept it, him from getting chopped. It kept him from the wood from getting chopped and fall. dropping him into it. Oh, but hit. it still hit you. Yes. yes. Oh my God, I yeah. would have died five times yeah. by now. <laughs> okay, so we're at a. You know what? How are you still alive? Remember, that's halved. That's halved. Yay! Blood! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Splash zone. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, just as a purely as a, a topic of conversation, uh, Bobby, how many hit points do you have left? Yeah. Oh. That's a great question. Rock, and I'm at 39. Oh. Oh. Good God! He's still living. Up. You right. still have more than I do, <laughs> and I'm at full health. <laughs> You've been put through a chipper shredder. Multiple times. You're better off than I am. Walnut. All right, um, tell me a few things. How close are the giants to each other? They, they are- They're best friends. They are right next to each other. <laughs> Would you say that they're- They're married. They're right next to each other, so like <laughs> five- Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're he, married, Walnut. Oh. Oh. Joke. <laughs> yeah, but he said it louder. Damn it. All right, um, so I, uh, is there anything above them that I should know about? Like, is there a clown above them? Is there scaffolding above them? There is scaffolding above them, but 20 feet up. But given how tall they are, it's only about 10 feet above them. Fantastic. OK, so I um, reach out my hand in a dramatic fashion, and a silvery beam of pale light shines down on them in a five-foot radius, and I cast Moonbeam. Oh, All right. Um, and the fun part about this is casting it at the fifth level. So oh, it is, uh, God. If they, they got to do a con uh, 17 again, both of them. Nope. Some big money going. I rolled a one. Yes. And? And the other one got 12. So. Dude, showtime. They is, both get goof. Is uh, the 8d10? It is a uh, 5d10. Okay, well, I guess it'll show All right, way to like take away the drama of it. Oh my God, I've been <laughs> robbed. Uh, all right, 2, uh, 11, ooh, 21, uh, 26. 32. 32. Good wow. God, Walnut. To both. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. What did I do? So as that radiance just sears over them, the poor giant who has no pecs howls out in pain and dies. <laughs> wow. He begins, begins to teeter. Oh no. Someone roll a die for me, a d6. Anyone? Three. All right. Goes right head first into the remaining lower blade, and the whole audience <laughs> is the splash zone. <laughs> Savages. <laughs> Omen, what do you do? There's one giant, there's the ringmaster. There's some crazy clowns up there. That's a lot. It's a lot to, there's a lot to enjoy. There's a lot Don't worry, to enjoy. I got Elm taken care of. Okay, great. Mm. 
He's safe. Nobody fucking asked you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up. Uh, I think I'm going to go up and finish off this, the giant. Right. Just walk up. I mean, he's very distracted at this point, I assume. Um, <clears throat> I just walk up right behind him uh, with the two-handed maul. Uh, and then hopefully the first one will just put him down, and the second one will simply confirm it. <laughs> OK. Here we go. You got this, boss. Yeah, I don't. Oh. You know what, though? No, no, it's fine. Watch this. It's yeah. fine. Hey, listen. Check out what I can do. Uh, so that's 4 plus 7, which is 11. That's not enough, is it? How about the war god's blessing? Oh. I cannot look bad in front of Walnut. And I'm willing to utilize divine force <laughs> to make it happen. So there is, an, uh, there is another universe where this did not happen, and I was ashamed. I don't live in that universe. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I'm going to lay it on him, lay it on that juice. Three, two, five, uh, six, eight. Uh, and then I'm going to come at him with the second attack that I get as a, in my purview as a war cleric. That's much better. <laughs> That's 25. Six. That's nine. All right. He's um, still up. Here, I have a bonus. This, this is that I have a bonus action. You tell me about this. Spiritual weapon, second level cleric. I mean, theoretically, I could just leverage this as my last little bit here, right? Absolutely. OK, I'm going to try it. A spiritual weapon is a, is a spell. Oh, I don't, roll, I don't roll to attack, do I? No, I make a melee spell attack. OK. So what does your spiritual weapon look like? Let's see. That's a great, you know what? Huh. Let's talk about this. Yeah, let's <laughs> hack it. Talk about your childhood. No, no. My, my, my spiritual weapon is uh, my mother's two-handed mall confessor. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Confessor? Confessor. Um, 22. That's a hit. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see if this works. Uh, 12 points. All right. The giant hollers out in pain, but is still standing. I say, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Up in your den, yeah. Elm looks at you. So, are, are you hurt? No, we're fine. I'm fine. You're fine. They're not as fine. <laughs> um, but no, we're good. Where, 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 where'd Bobby go? Uh, oh, your friend. Uh, he went to a farm. <laughs> he, he can run and run. He's going to love it there. It was single leafy tear. <laughs> Morgane, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to start shooting the giant. Also, I don't think I got to, I, got, I kind of got skipped last round, so I think I should get four attacks. <gasps> well, you, you summoned your tigers. And I summoned the tigers, and then it was the second one was the tiger attack. And then, I'm just trying to get more attacks, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, that is 24 to hit. That is a hit. My first attack. All right, so I will do. God, Morgane. Uh, so good. Oh. Uh, 13 plus another D8 for Colossus Slayer. So that's uh, 19 plus, uh, I'm going to bonus action Hunter's Mark and then do another D4. So that's another five. So that's 23, four. So you just go, <laughs> and the giant goes, someone roll to see which direction it goes. <laughs> I, I'll go for it. 20? Do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. D6, I think. Six. This time high is into the blade. Oh, boy. Oh. Nope, it's a one. No. So instead, it just slams into the ramp that leads out of the circus. I failed you all. <laughs> yeah. one their that's, no, that's not blood. <laughs> that's not blood at all. You and did, I, you just wait. I have a question. How's, how's my, um, my dear friend, my beloved hand-raised tiger looking? So, so <laughs> each of the tigers is now free of oh. the chains. OK. So I think. And they each have 19 hit points left, so I think their mission in life, their current mission in life, is to go for the clowns. 
Oh, oh like climb up the... Now the oh. clowns are 20 feet up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but... The, but they're all... Ring tigers masters. are natural climbers. Or... There's also... <laughs> there's also the ringmaster. You're gonna let it slide the guy. Yeah. <laughs> national yeah. Geographic. Should they go for the ringmaster? All right. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, because he's got magic. He's the magic guy. He's the puppet master. All right, so they'll go to the ringmaster. Uh, are they 20 feet away? Big counts. Oh, yeah. All right. Dude, we need those, those mad hops. Okay, so they have to do a, uh, he has to do a DC 13 strength saving throw. Come on. It's a wizard. Okay, they're not going to hit anyone. He failed. So he's knocked prone and takes no damage. <laughs> prone is good, though. Prone is enough. Yeah. yeah. He entered the prone zone. He entered the prone zone. And then hits with the claw. Actually, since we didn't hit, he's not knocked prone. It's cool. I'm going to just take my second attack. We're going to go, we're going to move away from the tiger distraction. <laughs> but they're going to surround the ringmaster so that they're right next to him on the next turn. Yes. You have a second tiger. I have a second tiger. Double All right. Tiger. Thank yeah. you. No, no, no. It's, it's second tiger syndrome. <laughs> and it has advantage. Oh. But it has, it has advantage. Because advantage. the guy is prone. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, they look great, though. They're Thank like you, those, I appreciate that. The cats with no equilibrium. And yeah, yeah. Like, you know, they keep you warm at night. They're good for oh, yeah. cleaning. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. They're you have to clean the litter box all the time, but it's okay. Wow. So as these tigers bear the ringmaster down to the ground, uh -huh. he seems completely unfrightened by them, pets them, and says, Did Rakdo send you? Oh, boy. Oh, man, I don't want to be a part of his kink. <laughs> I don't want to get rolled into this. Don't yuck a yum. <laughs> yeah, but his, his yum is... Okay, all right. We'll, we'll talk about this. Morgan, did you have a second attack? I do. I guess I'll try for the ringmaster. All right, now you're going to have disadvantage oh, firing at Oh, because so I'm going to yep. go for a clown. All right. Just pick myself a nice clown. A juicy 21. Clown. That's a hit. Oh, uh, thank God. <laughs> it's almost like I'm here for a reason or something. <laughs> Um, that is three plus, that's eight. Eight? All right. The, yeah. the clown takes it, okay. looks like he's about to fall, but grabs the lever in front of him, Control. which causes, which causes the blade in front of him to suddenly jerk up and slice right through one of the supports up above. Oh, no. And you can start seeing the whole tent is starting to teeter as the scaffolding starts to creak all around you. Now at this, the crowd, which has been all about blood, 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 Sud suddenly you hear people going, oh shit. <laughs> And, and people start to stampede toward the exits as it looks like the whole tent is going to come do down. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. You guys are great. Man. <laughs> a real These effects. I know. It's like a 4D movie. I know this Foley work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As this happens, it's now the ringmaster's turn. He looks at the tigers and he says, We'll have to play later, kiddies. This show is over, everybody! As he sees this all about to come crashing down, he puts his two hands together, and suddenly he vanishes in greenish mist. 30 feet away, the mist goes and he reappears up the ramp, and then he just starts booking it out of his own <laughs> circus. Green mist. I, no, no. That, all right. That might, that might not end up being a thing. That's fine. Bobby, what do you do? You are on scaffolding yep. that is starting to, to sway back and forth. Which, what exactly was cut that All right. starting to do this? All right, so it went through one of the connective beams yes. uh, that attaches this sort of ring of beams around, and then you see as it went up, also hit another one up above. So this sort of connective tissue is starting to pull apart. How many clowns are left? So you are starting. The frame. Whoa. <laughs> the clowns, uh, you can see, have also turned away from you and are now like looking down toward exits. And there are up above three, but you also, from this vantage point looking over, see that there are at least 10 other clowns <laughs> waiting down in the wings, looking intently up, but they're sort of like looking up, 
Looking out the exit. Looking up, <laughs> looking out the exit. Okay. So these clowns that are now looking down are no longer controlling the blades. That's right. My man. <laughs> so, uh, one more question. Yeah. If one of these uh, beams was to be fixed, would that keep everything from falling? Might be able to save it. All right, well, let's get weird. Okay, uh, <laughs> so the, the beam that... <clears throat> Uh, I have Smith's tools. <laughs> it's like some <laughs> and some rope. You do some okay. minor repairs. <laughs> I'm gonna make an attempt to MacGyver the closest broken beam to me. All right, I'm gonna let you try this because of the time pressure. You're gonna have disadvantage on this, but you have a chance. All right. And this is gonna be a dexterity check using those tools. Let's see if you can pull it off. Wait, I have inspiration. I can gift my inspiration to somebody else that has good role playing. You can't used I? it last time. It's wow. still on here, did I? All right, I believe you. He's ice cold. That's hardcore. <laughs> but I'm new. <laughs> oh, no, no, here. Uh, Bobby, we don't have that dungeon master anymore. <laughs> that that would have worked, I think, but. <laughs> So roll dex, again. Dex plus one, so 20. Go! Oh my God! Ah, damn it. Wow, both extremes. Oh man, it's like, it's, it's, it's you know, it's both. Basically. So, <laughs> you don't manage to fix it, but you do manage to tie your rope to the beam, and so you have something you could swing off. Good, I like that. <laughs> so, this is gonna get even weirder then. I'm going to use my fantastic athletic ability to grab the end of the rope that's not tied and get enough momentum to pirate swing my way down and back up to those three clowns that are watching and make one fell swoop to knock all three of them down. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm going to give you inspiration just Ooh, for attempting you. that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. All right. So you can use that inspiration now or you can hang on to it. Well, mm, because what I'm trying to do is knock these clowns off of the thing so they take damage from my attack, but then obviously into the oh, yeah. whirling blades. Because where are the other 10 clowns, you said? They're down on the ground. Yeah. Near the blades. No, no, no. They're toward the exit. <laughs> okay, okay. So just these three into the blades. <laughs> yeah. That's All right. Doing. So rather than making an attack, because you're actually just trying to do a sweep to yeah. take these guys out, I want you to just make a strength athletics check. Right, You're right. just swinging by. 11 plus... Oh. And you have advantage because you're raging, my friend. Ooh, I am, I am oh. raging. I'm so mad. <laughs> that means I get a two and take the higher one, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, the other one. Yeah, uh, so 11, uh, 5, and 1. So 16, 17. All right. Let's take a look. I'm going to give them a chance to try to dodge out of the way. <laughs> What was your total? 17. All right. One of them dodges out of the way, <sighs> but the other two you slam into, and they hurl <laughs> off and blood. blood. Yes. Blood, 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 blood. They're so, going to go back to work on Monday and be still, like. <laughs> so, question, because I've got a movement, an attack, and another attack. So you, yeah. did your, you did your MacGyvering. So yes, that's one. Your turn is complete. Oh, I thought I got three, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that was an awesome turn. It was turn. a robust okay. turn. Okay. <laughs> Some shit happened. <laughs> Jim? Yes, so I assume that there are some shattered pieces of these blades laying around on the ground. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use a uh, catapult. So I'm just going to choose one of these chunks of blade, and I'm going to flick it at the guy, the, the, the ring, ring, ring master, master that's running He's out running the door. He's running away. Uh, it can go up to 90 feet, yes. and I'm going to cast it at uh, fourth level. <laughs> it is bad. God. And so he has to make a dexterity saving throw. He's got to beat a 16. got a 17. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's his back turn. 
<laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is a player. Yeah. If it was a regular attack, I'd fix it for you. Yeah, you can't fix it. Wait, can I give you my inspiration? It was a saving throw yeah. for this. Ah, uh, negative, wait, so can I give inspiration? Can I force him to roll again with my inspiration? No. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I tried, and I had another drink. <laughs> Now, Jim, does catapult do damage on a, on a successful save? Uh, on a failed save, the object strikes the target and stops moving. When the object strikes something, the object and what it strikes each take 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Got it, got so it. So nothing special about... All right. Yeah. I, the, mental, the image was very good, Michael. Mm -hmm. and I yeah, to, you I know, I tried, I tried. You. So, it keeps flying, though. Go ahead and roll the damage. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> 3d8? <laughs> well, no, I cast it at a higher level. It's going to be 48. All right, let's see. It. One. Help me out. Seven plus eight. 15. Plus four. 19. 19. Plus seven. 26. It's healthy. All right. It, the blade hits hard into one of the supports of the tent on either side of the entrance. Oh, my God. Does it? And so now it all starts to teeter also in that direction. Wait, let me ask you, what, what are we trying to accomplish here? <laughs> I, I forget. Okay. Cool, then I think we're doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys should get in my hole. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Gross, Jim. Okay. I'm just saying, it's, it's going to be safer in here. No, we're not thank shaming you. anyone. We're not shaming yeah. anyone. No, 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 no. Yeah. We're inviting people into our holes. You can fit yeah. up to eight people, I believe, in my What? Home. Yeah, I know. Hey. Yeah. Honestly, that is that's, impressive. that's on brand. That's something to commend. Yeah. 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 And he has old fashions up there. I do. <laughs> yes. That sounds great. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Come get some of this. Just ride this out in my hole. We'll be fine. <laughs> Love riding it out in the hole. <laughs> All right. The remaining clown up above, I just made his, his check to attempt to jump down. He failed. Yes. Well, he succeeds at jumping off. <laughs> <laughs> That's not hard. <laughs> and, and you hear him scream with pain as he slams, not in the blades, but on the walkway and shatters oh. both of his legs. <laughs> I look down from above and give him a Nelson. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Walnut. Um, I look at Jim, who's like half out of his hole, and I say, um, you got to learn how to finish the job. And I move my moonbeam <laughs> to the uh, ringmaster. Oh. Um, you so also that's... notice, by the way, that those other 10 clowns are booking it out of the tent. Oh, I'll get to that. All right. <laughs> um, but so, uh, con 17. Failure. Fantastic. That is fail. One, yeah, yeah, well. Um, and then I'll just start rolling some dice. That's a oh, 10. No. 16. 23. Got jumbled. Another yeah. 7. Less there you go. Good 2. 32. Kikron. He face plants on the, on the ramp and just burns Fantastic. away. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you. I make sure Jim has noticed. Um, and then I uh, use my movement to move 35 feet towards the exit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Just my hand comes out with a thumbs up. <laughs> Back in. It's the reverse of the Terminator 2. It yeah. comes out <laughs> of a comfortable place down. <laughs> yeah. It's the exact opposite. <laughs> Omen. Y yeah? What would you like to do? All right, so I I'm, I'm taking this into account. I feel somewhat chastised. Uh, by more gain, but that's typical. I was just asking a question. You know, it's like it's the Socratic method. I'm trying to get you to come to your own conclusion. Like, <laughs> that, like a, a that, through, that's through sort of like Omen that's, hates that. that's what I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> it's my least favorite method. Um, but looking around, I'm gonna yell up into Jim's hole, and I'm gonna say, <laughs> I can hear in my hole. Yeah. <clears throat> I say, Jim, it's go time. Bring the boy. Out of the hole? Yes. Everyone is gone. Okay. Out here. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, finish it off and uh, finish his off and then. And then drop get down. another one, finish that, yeah. and then get the I, picture. It lasts for an hour. I don't want to waste it. <laughs> I see my friend and I am wondering why they're kidnapping him, so I am now very focused. <laughs> 
So <laughs> that is legitimately scary. <laughs> is there anyone else you all are planning on attacking? Yes. <laughs> I stay in my hole. All right, then we'll stay in initiative order. More gain. What do you? Well, Omen, what do you do? Uh, all you've done so far is talk. Yeah, yeah. I, I look up and I, I can see this mask of rage and anger. Blood and cheese. Yeah, blood and blood, cheddar, <laughs> rage, some sadness, unknowable sadness. Some, something happened. What was it? Um, <clears throat> uh, I say. I look up to this, this mask of hatred and rage, and I say, I think, generally speaking, we've been killing the same people. I think we might be on the same team here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I, can, I know a god. I can fix all of this. Yeah? All your stuff that you got, I can fix it easy. I need my friend. Well, we can work that out, too. But... We have to borrow him very briefly. I'm coming with him. That's, I, I accept that. Okay, deal. Parlay, complete. <laughs> you have just a few moments to get out of here before the entire circus comes crashing down. What do you do? I grab two of the gimp masks and take them with me. <laughs> Just right off, right off. You never know, dude, you never know. Exactly, we're going to a tavern at some point. Yeah. <laughs> so each of these masks is about the size of like your trunk. Perfect, perfect. You could probably wear it as a breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> and I just might. <laughs> The night is young. Okay, then I guess just, I just, 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 just grab one, because they're so big. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> all right. As you all rush out of the circus, as it comes crashing down, you notice that it seems most of the people made it out. Uh, you see people dragging their tarps. Uh, there's popcorn everywhere. There's... Red popcorn. Uh, yes. There, there is blood. There is... Mystery meat. Yeah. Uh, As the people walk by us, I'm looking at them screaming, blood, 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 <laughs> blood, <laughs> blood. <laughs> All right, you can see as people are rushing out in a panic, you see the balloon that you came in on with Edu, your Loxodon friend. Gee. And he blows through his snout, this elephant uh, snort. Over here, my friends! Quick, we need to get out of here before the Ozoria Senate comes and bogs us down in 10 hours of paperwork. I look over at you, I look over at you, Bobby, and I say, he's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as he says Azoria Senate, you can actually see up in the sky, there are what looked like three sphinxes with glimmering blue light around them, birds flying with them, and on each sphinx there are several people also glimmering with this bluish light coming down, and this voice suddenly emanates from them and says, Halt, all attendees of the Rakdos Circus. You must subject yourself to Azorius questioning forthwith. No. That sounds <laughs> super boring. Nah, nah. We out. No, I got shit to do. We out, yeah. 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 <laughs> quick, 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 quick. They're the worst. <laughs> you sure you don't want to stay for the paperwork? No, no, well, listen. <laughs> Not this paperwork. Okay, okay. All right, so Edu gets you into, into the aircraft, pumps the pedal, and the balloon lifts off into Ravnica's sky right as the members of the Azoria Senate start to land, and you can see as they land that the ones who are riding the sphinxes, a number of them put their hands up in these triangles and this suddenly white light emanates out and actually causes a number of the people to be paralyzed, and the birds come swooping down on them, on other people who are trying to run away. So you got out of there in the nick of time. <clears throat> no, I, I walk over, as this is happening, I walk over, and I put a hand on Edu's shoulder, and I say, good timing. It sounded terrible. <laughs> I kept hearing blood, and I thought you were all dead. Uh, yeah. 
yeah, there was there was some blood. There was no small amount of blood. Yeah, side change. I'm still bleeding yeah. real bad. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any bandages? On that topic, I can do you one better. Oh, hello there. I don't think we've met. And Edu is even taller than you are, and he's a loxodon, so he's an elephant man. And he holds out his big four-fingered hand to shake yours. I reach out slowly because I'm upset that he's bigger than I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I kind of like dap him up, like, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and hello, Elm. Hand off the boy, hand off the boy. Good, well, I, I know him. <laughs> oh. And Elm, and Elm looks at you, and at this point, Elm has been just in shock by what just happened. And he, he gives you a big hug. Ow. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, Does good he disappears see. into one of his yes. wounds? <laughs> yeah. It's sucked into my ribs now. Gross. Oh, thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, I, I got you, man. Always. <laughs> you told me I shouldn't do it, but I was so bored. I did. You never listen. And <laughs> this always happens. You get bored, I get stabbed, I'm almost done with this man. I'm so sorry. Almost. <laughs> I'm, I'm just glad you're still alive, man. And, and, and thank you, all of, all of you. Mostly it was me. <laughs> you were in my hole the whole time. I, I, I mean, that, that carpet, it was such a fuzzy hole. I know. I try to make it nice for the people I bring there. Uh, uh, Bobby, I'm sorry, man. Like, I'm sorry to Bobby, but I'm also, like, sorry to Xavier. Like, there's, there's going to be a lot of this. I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm okay with fuzzy hole. <laughs> Non-fuzzy <laughs> hole, bro. It's yeah, all good. It's, yeah, it's, it's about the hole at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so uh, you, you get uh, 21 hit points. Uh, Omen sort of mutters under his breath, uh, and you can feel some portion uh, of your most special regions uh, knitting back together. Nice. Good. Hey, thank you. Hey, yeah. But uh, considering you guys need my friend for something, and I'm never leaving his side, we're going to need some sort of... Arrangement? Arrangement, yeah. I charge a hefty fee. Okay, well, listen. Uh, you're... Uh, Omen cracks his knuckles. <laughs> and he says, well, I mean, you have to understand, obviously, uh, here at Acquisitions Incorporated... Are, are, you, are you familiar with our brand? No. Um, that can't be. That's going to make it... That's going to make it more difficult. Uh, generally speaking, Although maybe this will be exciting. Generally speaking, uh, I find that I can sort of run roughshod over people when they've heard about the brand. I'm going to have to use my true power this time. Tell me what you value most, and I will find you a portion of it. Mm, well, <laughs> what I need is very hard to come by. It's very hard to create. It's more precious than silver, more precious than gold. I know alchemists. I know glassmakers. Uh, I know silversmiths. I'm gonna need you to find a dairyman because I'm gonna need 3,000 pounds of cheese. <laughs> Just a note for, El for Alyssa, the Shadow Chancellor when you upload this to YouTube, the name of the episode has to be Blood and Cheese. <laughs> I just, I think that I heard you, but I want to make absolutely certain. Um, but, I'm not playing around. Oh, no. I need Parmesan. No. I need Swiss. Uh, I need cheddar. Uh, I need uh, good, because uh, it's good, huh? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, no. I just, I want to make sure we're talking about, like, the hard, salty milk. I mean, is that the same? I, I've never been here before, man. I don't know. Does cheese, is it a euphemism? <laughs> like, you want, like, the hard milk. You, you want to eat. What I pay you in, is Does that correct? Does this look like I'm kidding? No, no, I don't think so. I, I am bleeding from my ribs, from my best friend. My fingers and mouth are still covered in cheese. I had time to eat cheese before I came to save my best friend. People use gold for currency, that's easy. You find it in a mine, you chip it off, you put some in your bag, you go about your day. It's hard to make cheese. That's what I need in my life. Look, as long as that's what you've heard. Um, <laughs> that's, that's all we know. That's... Is, this, is this not fact? It is. 
It is, and it is grievously difficult to come by. Yes. Uh, yes. Luckily, uh, luckily, I uh, I know of a, a source. It will take some time to get, but I can assure you, uh, you will have cheese and cheese in abundance. Thank you. <laughs> then I think I'll have no problems coming with you guys. Marvelous. How's the guts? Oh, they're still bleeding a little bit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Gonna be all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah listen, we'll work something out. Uh, very, very briefly, uh, Bobby, uh, let me introduce you to uh, our wizard in residence, James Winifred Dark Magic III. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bob. nice Bobby Zamorski. Uh, Bob, Robert? <laughs> if I may call you Robert? Oh, no, no, no. Just Bobby. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bobby, uh, let me introduce you to Walnut Grass uh, of the Enclave, uh, Pax Anima. Walnut Grass? <laughs> Walnut on Grass. I thought you just said grass. Never. <laughs> she looks hurt for a second, then she nods at you wordlessly. <laughs> Is there some sort of tension uh, here? She's a complex woman. Um, as, <laughs> yes, my friend, as they can be. Yeah, we have another elf as well, a very dangerous woman, Morgane. I am not a complicated woman. No. No, I no, also no. like cheese, though. Oh. I appreciate your choice. So that's something you guys can talk about. I don't about. want to be paid in cheese. <laughs> well, no. No. And I, I, Morgan, I would not even attempt it. Uh, I would not even attempt it. Uh, how did you come to, how did you come to know this, this uh, bark-covered boy? So this is, this is my best friend. I've been looking after him for years. He, he makes some dumb decisions, yes, which normally involve him coming out just fine and me Bleeding. Actually. Like so? Yes. So this is our normal back and forth, but... Okay, fair enough. I've got to stay with him, because he just... He'd forget his head if it wasn't tied to his shoulders, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, that no, kind of guy. Say no more. Uh, here's, here's the fact. Uh, it may surprise you to learn that we are not from here at all and have no idea what any of this is about. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we put on a good show, but um, <laughs> there's a lot that we don't understand, and the sooner we can get back to where we are ordinarily from, uh, the better. We understand that in addition to being uh, your good friend, uh, this boy also is connected in a fundamental way with this magic tree, I guess? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the tree. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Apparently he can, he can communicate with this, this tree in some way that can help us get back. Well, we just... Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah? Is that what you need? Well, that's, that's the optimal scenario for me. Yeah, that's the best outcome. Where are you trying to go? Well, are you familiar? Are you familiar with the Forgotten Realms, Toral, a beer? Any of this working for you? No, no. Okay, but, well, that sucks. But, if, <laughs> but, but, do you need to ride the ride the roots? Is that a thing that is that is that a euphemism? <laughs> I would like to ride the roots. I'd, I ref, I refuse to allow it. <laughs> <laughs> well, normally it's just you're casting your mind. Yeah. And, and you, commune, you commune with the tree. It helps if you, if you smoke some of the leaves. Yes. I, and I, then your mind travels to other worlds. But if I really concentrate, they say I could even help send you there. This sounds amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is all you, this, we do this all the time. <laughs> this is we could just stay here show. and do that. So that's legal here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's weird they, they passed it right before the government shut down. <laughs> the Sphinx guys, they don't care about... Yeah. They pushed it through. Yeah, they got it in. Oh, I don't, I don't think the Azorius Senate would like all that kind of tripping. Oh. Yeah, the man, tell me about it, right? But I, I'd be glad to help. I mean, you, you, you all helped save my life. Well, listen. Let's get fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say, uh, I say, Edu, can you uh, can you give us a ride back to this tree? We've been flying this whole time. That's great. That's great news. Where were we going? No, no, we're not going to the tree. We're going back to the lab. But how about the tree? Uh, what do you need there? It sounds like they got these. Isn't leaves. that where we ride the roots and smoke the leaves? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you misunderstand. Oh, you, oh this is I've, about the glass, isn't it? I've, I've got the leaves, man. Oh, yeah. And he points to his right hair, now. which is okay, leaves. I, I can understand how you might befriend. This is my <laughs> best friend. <laughs> Yo. 
when we All got right. on this balloon, I was bleeding. Half my intestines were hanging out, trying to save my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm getting it now. Yeah, I, I, it's starting to make before, a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't lining up for me. Now it's all starting to... Mm. All right, right. Let's, let's smoke this kid. <laughs> I, and my, my connection to Mod Celestia, it's everywhere. Wherever I go. <sighs> okay. Sweet. Amazing. <laughs> is there any... Uh, oh, because Omen is... So are we going back there or not? Uh, no, no, it sounds like we can get... It sounds like we got our connection right here. That's, yeah. that's Vi. You got, you got the plug right here. Yeah, I was just going to yeah. say. <laughs> yes, Vi, Vi said to bring him right back for the hookup. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. I, I, Edu, I shouldn't have questioned you. Who's Vi? Oh, I work for her. Okay. She, she's all good? Yeah. It's okay. I have no idea what's happening. Okay, cool. cool. <laughs> I just sprang fully formed from his head. Yeah. As far as I can Classic tell. technique. Yeah. Yes, who, who are you, ma'am? And the elephant man holds out his four-fingered hand. I'm Morgane. I also like cheese. Um, As do I. Story. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> but I'm about to smoke a child, and, and that sounds fun to me. <laughs> <laughs> once, you get, once you get past that part, it's all good. You know what? I was born past that part. Perfect. <laughs> As, As the airship continues to fly, Edu looks at all of you and he says, this has been the most confusing but exciting day of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tell yeah. me about it, buddy. That's, the, that's our norm. That's our Tuesday, pal. All right. The airship comes in for a landing on top of the skyscraper of that the you roof. emerged from. Indeed. And Edu manages to get it synced right up with the square platform that it emerged from and as you exit the airship, it begins to collapse back in on itself and vanish into the roof of the really? building. Yes. I am, very, I am very excited by that. Yeah, what is, what is this? Is this magic? Oh, no, no. This is, is it? It's an invention. I'm a little yeah. sad you don't have one of these. Why don't you have one of these? I, I, I do. You just, don't, you just haven't seen it. <laughs> you I wonder about if it. they're hiring here. I mean, what? this is pretty cool. Yeah, okay, well, that's how you want to... Morgane, you know. what is your passive perception? Mm, it is 16. Whew. All right. Aye. Does anyone have higher than 16? Yes, 19. 19, all right. I, I've got 18. Is that cool? Not as cool. Yeah. <laughs> Omen and Walnut, you notice <laughs> something that no one else notices. Very slight sound of movement on the other side of the spire that juts up out of the roof. And remember, this is the spire that has the hidden door in it that you exactly. emerged from. You hear a little bit of movement from the other side of it. The rest of you don't hear it. You hear that, boss? Yeah, just nod. Say, uh, pop quiz. Pop quiz, what is it? Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> can I do, oh, I forgot I have no nature. Um, can I do something to try and discern what kind of sound, like what kind of anything? You know what, actually, I'm going to do something else. Never mind, forget that. Yeah. <laughs> skip all that, skip all that. Um, I'm going to try and flush it out. Um, I'm going to also use conjure animals. I look at Morgan to see if maybe she she notices me. Um, <laughs> and I will do um, eight crows um, to go and pester whatever it is. All right. So there is this explosion of squawking as these crows just appear out of midair. That's really convincing, actually. <laughs> I, I tell everybody, I say it's, I say, I, I say it's fine. Uh, Walnut did it. They're, they're her crows. And as, uh, and as they swirl around on the far side of the roof, suddenly this woman comes staggering out, waving her hands. Please, please, make them go away. Please, please. And I say, are you friend or foe? Oh, a friend, of course. Um, and I, 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 uh, I say, I, eh, I don't know about that. Hold monster. What's the saving throw? High. Let's see. Uh, 16. Will you try to grab her with a spell? I'm trying to hold her with a spell. She fails. All right. She's suddenly... Mm. Yeah. 
I, I stand in front of Ellen. She, she is wearing this white robe with beautiful gold brocade in it. She has a gold tiara with white veil coming out down in back. Uh, and she has amazing sort of gold leaf makeup on her Markings? cheeks. Yes. Wow. Uh, That's and fine. you can see there is a glittering gold ring on every single finger. Every finger? Yes. Wow. That would look super nice on me. Yeah. <laughs> but as you do this, you see that every single one of the gargoyles around that were statues the last time you God were here. God damn it, did they replace every one of them? They all turn uh. and look at you. Yeah. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Edu says. I say, Edu, go get Vi. Oh, 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 oh. so this, this, this woman is of the, the, the Orzhov. Is that cool? No, 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 it's not good. <laughs> I, I, they're, 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 they're either here to, to kill us, make us tithe, or even worse, they're here for taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll go get Vi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But please don't harm her, don't harm her. Uh, she, well, could, she could be even a pontiff. Yeah, probably. Good thing you said that, because yeah. I was a pontiff. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I'm just going to walk up very slowly. I say, and has Edu gone to get yes. by? Yes, Edu, okay, Edu vanishes. He does the, the elbow movement, the hand gesture, and the secret door appears, and he vanishes into the skyscraper. Okay. I'm going to walk over to... Uh, and all the gargoyles are peering at you. And I say gargoyle, but these are the oh, these small are those flesh fleshy creatures full of sawdust. It was with, gross, man. With gold masks. It was gross. I don't... And there is a faint smell of rot all around that was not here when you departed. Mm. And you can see that where they are standing, there is actually sign of broken stone. Oh, for sure. That the, the carvings that were here oh. earlier this evening, all gone. Oh, I'm, dude, I was with you right from the beginning. <laughs> I know exactly what these motherfuckers are doing. So uh, I walk up and I say, I, that's a, generally speaking, and I, I'm not from here, as you well know, Generally speaking, friends, friends, where I come from, friends don't like hide behind spires and like sneak around and stuff. That's just, it's possible there's a, a cultural clash here that I don't know about. When I pull you out of this, I want to be very clear about something. These things are gross and I, I don't want them here. I want them to be in another place. I already killed a couple, and I'll kill these two. <laughs> I'm gonna go up, and I'm just gonna get one of the rings. Oh, you take it? Yeah. All right. Okay. And I'm gonna put it on. Oh, shit. That's nice. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Oh my God. I should have made a wisdom saving throw to decide whether or not I was going to undertake this course of action. <laughs> the second time you've just picked up a weird magical <laughs> item today. Dude, I, it, I have a thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, saving throw? Wisdom? That's the one I got. I know. Yeah. yeah. 23. It sort of stings for a split second, but you're fine. Yeah. I say, you can have it back. But when I pull you out of this, these things are gone, and we can talk like friends. Are you telling the truth? Yes. All right. Otherwise, I'd have you make a deception. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't, don't, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. There's, there's, other ways to, there's other ways to hurt people. But please go ahead and make a persuasion check for me. Yeah. I can do that. 18. All right. Jeez. Wowie. <clears throat> All right. I, I rescind the spell. <gasps> And immediately, all of those strange creatures alight and start flapping away. I say, thank you. Now we may parlay. Oh, yes. I am tired, <laughs> so tired of playing this game. <laughs> Is she a vampire? 
Yeah. Yeah. You just count chocula. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my pets, they went missing. I came, I look for them, they're gone. I bring more pets. <laughs> but then I wonder, what is an airship landing on the roof with no door to go into? And then it makes me think, someone is hiding and not paying their taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I say, <clears throat> is there, I'm, I'm curious as to, the sophisticated, you, have to, you need to understand, madam, first of all, Ominifus Hera were drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. S Sostia. Kiss. I do it. Her, her hand is completely cold. So the lips, like, <laughs> but I, I make a big show of it. Like, I'm not pretending. I do the kiss and it's too cold and I can't maintain the composure. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I go over to the side of the building and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I come back, but when I turn around, then it's cool again. <laughs> All right, that was, that was colder than I expected. Um, you have to understand, so is there, is there anything in your, within your jurisdiction, if a creature emerges from another plane, do you have some kind of subclause where they still owe you taxes? Oh, darling. <laughs> All people in Ravnica owe us taxes. Uh, okay. That's right. part of what we get. She's right. In the Orzhov. Yeah, you've seen this shit? Okay. She's right. Mm -hmm. But that's not our responsibility. We just, we're not even live, live here. Like, I don't. Uh, I mean, we don't have any taxable income. No, no. <laughs> Now, this, this is fascinating. <laughs> Where are you from? Yeah, no one seems to know. It's, uh, I mean, we call it the Forgotten Realms. I mean, I don't, it sounds like nobody knows what that is, but he doesn't know. Mm. Faerun, yeah, certainly. So you forgot where you're from? No. No, <laughs> no you don't understand. That's, that's the, it's an IP. I just, I just sit around in the back. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. this is not going to go well. No, no it's, so we are from uh, a let me world. I uh, say here. Let me let me okay, go sorry. down some of the pantheon. Uh, Joaquin, through with any of our powers, we've got. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I, I do. We we run also cathedrals, and I do not need some lessons. But now I'm so fascinated. <laughs> How did you get here? This I could not be more pleased. <laughs> Everything that's happening right now. <clears throat> I say well. Are you familiar, oh God, okay. I'm gonna get him in a lot of trouble with this, but uh, it's entirely possible that there is a completely unregulated device. It might be better if we wait for Vi. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you're probably right. I don't, it's probably regulated. Um, <laughs> probably probably I say unregulated? Probably totally yeah. above board. Just and if, registered with the guy. I'm while sure we're waiting for Vi to come up here, do you know anything about an omni glass sphere? Is there a lot of tax on those? Mm, no. But maybe the Senate has added that to the list. <laughs> Would you like me to tax it? No. <laughs> no. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think I would. Anyway, I, I uh, would, yeah, she'll be here any second, probably. I would like my ring. Yeah, okay. Here, I say it's, it's great, obviously. You'll note that whatever it tries please, to do. Please put it back yeah, on my okay, finger. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I take it off and I say, you'll note that whatever it tried to do to me did not happen. It's do I, very can powerful. Can I sense player. anything from this ring? Or any of her rings? Uh, go ahead and make an intelligence arcana check. Nope. Nope. Check. That was Jack. Yeah, that was totally Jack. Dude, get, I mean, this is like... This Are they is, like, these rings? <laughs> they, no, it's like Quadrant One Enhance. Like, yeah. you know all the shit. So you see that the rings are covered with tiny little arcane sigils. Every single one of them. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> now, do you pledge yourself to me? What? You put a wing on it. Oh, God. <laughs> no. 
Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, no, Bobby, look, yeah. that's not... No? She's no. lovely. Is she? I yes. think you guys are going to be really happy. Yeah. You, yeah. She is really cold. You guys did not kiss her. Hey, <laughs> any better, boss. Since you're like a thing now, can you get her to lower the tax on cheese here? Because it's really <laughs> bad. Honestly, what are the tax advantages for marriage in Ravnica? Oh, we did away with that. Uh, People are abusing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Why can well. I smoke this kid? <laughs> Relax. No. Maybe we don't talk to her about that. Mm. <laughs> I'm just playing with the leaves on his head. Yeah. Yeah. When can we get on this? Yeah. As you point him out, she sees him for the first time, and, you, and she just looks at him and goes, I've been standing in front of him, and now I get even closer to the <clears> front of him. I have not tasted that before. Nope. Okay. Me neither. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for the buzzkill to leave for yeah. like 20 minutes. The secret door opens, <laughs> and out strides Vi with her rifle over her shoulder. She looks around. She does not have her goggles yeah. on, and she says, what in the hell? She casts a spell on us. Uh, we're powerless. <laughs> um, we told her everything, I think? No. No? All right. This lady wants you to pay taxes. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> she shoots the woman. <laughs> yes! Oh, my God. I don't know who this lady is, but I love her. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can she be my new mommy? Yes. You would like her. She's yeah. All right. amazing. Someone roll... A uh, d20 for Sostia. I'll handle it's it. It's a saving throw. It's your wife. 12. Yeah, yeah. Your Sostia wife. drawn. <laughs> All right. She failed. So what shoots out of Vi's rifle is this glimmering azure orb that expands around Sostia entirely encases her, and she starts screaming inside it, but you can't hear her scream, and it starts shrinking with her in it. Okay. Until it turns into a little ball. Oh, my God. You can see her inside. There, there. <laughs> I got to catch them all. <laughs> Now inside. Uh, yeah, good idea. Let's go in there. As you're riding down the elevator with her, she says, if there's one thing I hate about Ravnica, it's all the damn vampires. I, I go to shake her hand <laughs> and attempt to slide something that looks like a ring on her finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it happened. It happened. What's, what's going on? We're, we're close now. <laughs> I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and she is a gnome, so she is looking up at you. I love it. I'm looking down at her with love in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I say, Vi, this is uh, your husband, Bobby. Yes. Bobby Zimaruski, oh. at your service. Oh, children. It's not that easy to hitch me up. <laughs> Were you going to smoke my friend? Were you going to talk about it? <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. yeah. I, I am open to a suitor or two. Okay. All right. But, too, I like but it. it's going to require some work and some time. That's all, that's all I got. <laughs> Do you make a good old fashioned? Old fashioned, whatever you like. Mm. I got you. You're speaking my language. Mm, perfect. All right. You arrive down in the secret lab. Vi leads you with Edu back to her sitting room. She said, bring that boy over here. Don't be afraid, boy. And so Elm walks up. She sort of looks at his hands. Child, have you ever helped people travel to other worlds? No, ma'am. Well, you're going to help us today. Are you his friend? Yes, I am. All right, I'm afraid. This does not involve smoking him. What? But we still can. <laughs> what? <laughs> it doesn't not involve smoking. What? <laughs> What you do with your free time is none of my business. Exactly. I'm going to need some time 
to get him to put some of that amazing world soul magic into the orb you brought, Mr. Dark Magic. Oh, yeah. Remember, that's going to be the key. We've been working while you were away on some of the repairs back, in, back inside the transport chamber. Coming along, but we still need that Omniglass. Okay. I suggest you get a good night's rest and you'd go deal with that tomorrow. While you are out, Sprocket, my little friend, here I am, you hear his voice oh, as the, the little fairy, fairy yeah. comes flying in. <laughs> and so Bobby and Morgane, you see this little fairy who is wearing like a little cap. He also has little goggles and he has overalls on. And he says, yes, I scouted out a tunnel. <laughs> That's my Sprocket, so useful. So we inquired with the Izzet about getting some Omniglass. They got mighty twitchy. I think that's a dead end. We can't have the whole guild coming down on us and wondering what we have going on in this lab. So I think we need to go into the Undercity, get some, some of the raw stuff. We can refine it here. I have my own method. And then, what am I doing? Ah, she reaches over to a little table, opens up her purse, and she gets out a cigarette. She lights it. Oh, that's what I was doing. I get real excited. <laughs> This is, this is terrible for your lungs, my friend. Now, you rest up. You go down, get some of the unrefined stuff. Is it pretty easy to get? It's just laying around, probably. Laying around down there? Yeah. Nobody, no one's there to guard it, I'm sure. Yeah, no now, now, do you want me to tell you the truth, or do you want me to give it to you sweet? I like it sweet, Vi. <laughs> sure, it's just laying around, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Now you go get some rest. You look mighty beat up. We have some cots. We have some good drinks, some tea. You can do whatever you want to to your friend. Again, none of my business. <laughs> I, uh, I approach her bar and make a nice old-fashioned. I bring it over to her. Pro tier. Yes. Pro -tier. Do I need to roll for that? Yes. <laughs> dexterity. <laughs> Give me a dexterity performance check. Okay. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Oh. Inspiration. 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 Yes. Oh, again. There's two things I love. It's cheese and this woman. <laughs> That's it. That's it. It's 15. She takes a sip. She looks at you. She looks at the drink. I might have to invite you back, young man. <laughs> it, it has to be this thing where it's like, it's like the, uh, like, like the magic tricks that like, part of the trick is that it looks like it's a failure. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's like the, the shaker like goes out and like bounces off something, then it's like, that's just the ruse. It's like, bam, <laughs> catch it. It's all back, it's all part of the shake. It's been all this, <laughs> yeah. all this flipping the bottles, looking at it, oh, you're gonna like this. <laughs> Oh, boy, do I. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to take a moment. So basically, it's, we're going to relax. We're going to chill out. I'm going to take a moment, uh, just basically because I haven't met before, I'm going to take a moment to introduce uh, Morgane uh, and Walnut Dongrass. Um, because I, just, I think they might have a lot to discuss. They're like elves. And um, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> they like plants. You know what I mean? I just I think there's just like an overlap there. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm just gonna let the magic happen. I'm just gonna put them together and say uh, walnut dawn grass. Uh, I want you to, uh, I'd love it if you would meet our uh, longtime uh, affiliate uh, Morgane. Uh, you might have seen some of her handy work uh, there at the Circus of Blood. Uh, it pleases me to tell you that was a relatively typical performance. Uh, this is an incredibly, incredibly dangerous and expensive asset. Oh yeah, I can tell, for sure. Um, and uh, the fact of the matter is, I think that you have a, a lot of your long-term goals are, are shared, uh, and I suspect that you could be allies within and without the organization. Um, I look at Morgan and I go, I also like tigers and killing things. <laughs> Noted. Oh, and oh then no, I feel it. No, oh, I, feel, wow. I feel it right away. I'm like, oh no. It cuts her like a knife. <laughs> Like, it just goes through her and she's like, everything turns black and white, and she's just like, oh, okay. I liked, um, I liked, I liked the moonbeam thing. 
She perks back up and she goes. That was good. That was pretty good. <laughs> I like the moonbeam thing. It was pretty good. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. And then pretty good just echoes in her head. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. It zooms in real close on her face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I say since, uh, since we're all new friends here, uh, do you guys want to have a seat and finally get to business? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> business means smoking the child. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Always. We I have say, no euphemism say, here. We just yeah. say exactly what we mean. But, dude, but you know that Omen is square as fuck. But Omen would be. What? Yeah. No. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I'm be like. He's not inhaling. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I say no. I might need to. I might need to drive us somewhere. <laughs> Jeez, man. You know what I mean? No, I just. I think that if somebody comes. What if like somebody the, comes to the door? Like the cops. It's like it'd be so great if they'd be like, oh yeah, no, we're not high. You know what I mean? Like. But like mean it, like really mean it. It's, well, now I can't do it in front of my sober pseudo dad, so I guess <laughs> I'm out. It's customary. No, that's not fair. I really wanted to have this bonding experience with my new friend that you really wanted me to make friends. So <laughs> she can't do so it unless. So conflicted. I'm like, do I, do I, do I not? <laughs> no, no. I say, walnut. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Omen. Yeah. Uh, I reach back into something that you can identify as something like a prototypical uh, documancy satchel. Sure. Uh, and I produce a uh, document which is the temporary dispensation. This is like um, uh, CBD 022, <laughs> uh, temporary dispensation yes. uh, for novel mental states. And I fill it out and then I offer it to you to co-sign. Oh, I sign it with a flourish. I say, you guys have fun. Yes, okay, I'm ready. <clears throat> Elm? And then we proceed. <laughs> Does this kill him? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I, this is <laughs> He's smoking it too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he he just plucks he just plucks some leaves oh. out of his hair. He's just dead. Okay. <laughs> he so gave his just life. Just like dead skin. Yeah. Just, it's exfoliation. It's just exfoliation. These leaves were ready. <laughs> and he gives you each one. You're not if you serious. want, you can just eat it. Or sometimes you can smoke it, you could just but just it. think it's something easy. happy, because that will determine where you go. Okay. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Yeah. Nothing weird, nothing dark. But are we supposed to be thinking about uh, home? Blood. <laughs> <laughs> this can, th think of any place you want. Just your spirit will go there. Oh. So I'm prepared. Yeah. I now. You might have to teach him. You know yes. what I mean? Like so, you, might have, you might have to like um, big sapling this thing. So I've, I have a little bit of cheese on me. So I, you see me pop some cheese. I take that, that, uh, the, the, that gimp, the, I take the gimp mass that I've got and I put it across my chest. <laughs> yeah. He's got a whole thing. Okay. Lay back, kick my feet up, pop a leaf in, pass one to you and say, come on the ride. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use uh, thaumaturgy. I'm gonna spark that leaf with a little f magic fire uh, and inhale. And then I lay back into my uh, mage hand. <laughs> All right. Walnut? I like nervously look over at Omen and then I look at the paperwork and uh, you can tell that Walnut's <coughs> mentally maybe not in the best state to be doing this. No, no, I, I, I leave. Oh. oh. I leave. I'm gonna go to one of these bulbous uh, windows they have and look pensively out at this <laughs> evil town. Um, I eat the leaf, but uh, Walnut's not good about thinking happy thoughts, so. It'll so we'll good. see. <laughs> we'll go to the forest of our youth. Um, I will go to a blood circus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. okay. I, Sounds great. I noticed that he's left the room. I noticed that he's left the room. Yeah. So I come out to make some drinks for everybody, and I also make him one. Well, he doesn't oh, notice. Oh, no. <gasps> what well, he doesn't notice. Wow. All right, everyone. Give me a wisdom saving throw. Wait, everyone? Oh, yeah. Everyone who took a leaf. Oh, wow. This is magic stuff. 15. Six. Happy thoughts, everyone. Six. Happy thoughts. 17. 
18. 16. 16. All right. What was your total? Six. Six. <laughs> oh, dude. This is, like, this is like that Twilight Zone ride, like at the California Adventure. Like, this is like an evil elevator. What it's going to take you to high? hell. What if I'm going to be high forever? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The four of you who succeeded on your saving. <laughs> okay. You. Sorry. You I, I, I understand what a surprise this must be to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think at first it is just the best made drink you've ever had. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, there's, a place for, there's a place for this massive gentleman on the payroll, the cheese roll. <laughs> Get that cheddar. So, the four of you, because you succeeded, you imagine yourself in exactly the place that you wanted to be. Uh, the blood circus, mm -hmm. probably a bank vault swimming in gold. Yeah, yeah, like Scrooge McDuck type shit. Yes. <clears throat> a grove it, a, from my youth. A grove from your youth. Uh, on stage. Your portable hole. <laughs> on stage in front of an audience, probably. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Just, <laughs> All chanting, Jim, dark magic. Exactly. Jim, yeah. Jim, dark magic. But Bobby, <laughs> yeah. you find yourself right back at the Racto Circus earlier tonight. Mm -hmm. The clowns have you bound up in that, oh, shit. that, gimp, that gimp mask. This is a bad trip. Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. And they have you now on a conveyor belt <laughs> going toward one of those spinning blades. And I assume they're all eating my cheese. Oh, yeah. Blood, 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 blood. Blood. Weirdly, also where I am. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. And you're, like, you're in the crowd. I have my, my seat. I have But you have all, like, the accessories from the gift shop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I went to the blood circus, and all I got right... <laughs> I, got, I have the foam finger. Yes. <laughs> but it's severed at the tip. Yeah. <laughs> you need to make those immediately. Money-making opportunity. Yeah. Right as you are about to go headfirst into that spinning blade, you hear your friend's voice in your head. Buddy, snap out of it. It's not going to get you. It's not going to get you. And you come out of it. Oh, man. And he gives, he gives you a hug because he can tell that you are really, really scared. Aww. He, gives you that, he gives you that leg hug. So. He's, he's just sitting on my chest. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me fall asleep like this. Yeah. <laughs> the, other, the other four of you, because of this experience, you each now have inspiration. Oh. Drugs are good. I was just going to say, are good. young people are learning the wrong lesson. <laughs> no. Well, everyone watching, that was magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> I see. I, I can't. All right. You then have a good night's sleep. Yay. And in the morning, you're greeted by Vi. She says, we figured out exactly the tunnel you should use. Whenever you're ready to go. This is the tunnel that goes to the pile of unguarded omni-glass. <laughs> That's right, honey. <laughs> <laughs> now, where are you going? Uh, my, my wonderful darlings, you've been so fantastic, and you're all alive, and you're bringing new friends. You might want to stay in Ramblinger. When you go down there, and I'm going to send Sprocket along with you to help guide the way, you're looking for a big wrecked fortress. See, much of this city used to be above ground, and it's constantly getting shoved deep under the earth as one layer is built atop the other, and there's an old Boros fortress down there. The Boros, they're an army. They've got angels. They've got fire. They've got minotaurs. They're good sometimes. Other times they're just whooping your butt and you don't know why. <laughs> In there, the lab has before us found some of the raw material that we use to make Omniglass. You'll know it. It's going to have sort of a clear look to it and it glimmers. If you bring any kind of light into the room, it will give off a golden glimmer. It's beautiful. So have the light source with you. Look for it. You're, it's usually mixed in with this sort of milk chocolatey earth. 
Okay. You'll know it when you see it. Bring By flavor light. or color? By color. Okay, I, I, don't, I do not recommend... I'm not from here. Like, I do not <laughs> recommend eating the dirt. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I want to do what you want me to do. It's... Now, just be careful. The Golgari swarm does not look kindly on people rooting around in their part of Ravnica. Mm -hmm. The Undercity is theirs. They have patrols, so try to go a little lightly. Edu tells me you destroyed the circus, so maybe a little less of that. <laughs> there are all sorts of things under the city, so be careful. There are gorgons. There are strange giant spiders. There are worm things that will gobble you up. But there are also beautiful things. So try to go toward the beautiful things and less toward the snaky things. Snaky? No. There's enough snake-type things that you have to have an adjective? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. Well. All right. I, I say, uh, Sprocket, you any good in a fight? I'm really good at disappearing. Okay. Uh, oh. Better part of Valor. Same. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put up a single finger in what I hope is one half of a high five for a fairy. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Now, really, now, please look after Sprocket. He's my faithful friend. I would, I would be totally broken up if I found out anything happened to the little fella. Great. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's not foreshadowing at all. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 tell, I, I say walnut uh, spell configuration uh, delta. <laughs> you got it, boss. All right. Vi looks have at spell configuration? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm like looking through papers. <laughs> <laughs> Something I missed. Vi looks up at you, Bobby, and she says, and don't you worry, my friend. We're going to look after Elm. He's going to be safe here in our secret lab. Should I, I stay with Elm? No. <laughs> Just to make sure he's OK? That's not Should one of the someone? options. Mm. That's, that is your boss's Should choice. Should we bring some of Elm with us? <laughs> yes. That's a thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not for me. Right. I've never done it. <laughs> um, but it's like, I don't judge people who do that. Right. right. Now, now, Elm, he has a lot of work to do for us to channel some of that amazing energy he has into one of those orbs. And we'll get you home sooner or later. I tell, I, I, I kneel down, put a hand on Elm's shoulder, and I say, buddy, we'll be right back. I put my hand on his other shoulder. I'll be right back, too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back together. He, he gives you both a hug. <laughs> good, good. Uh, hey, be safe, buddies. Thanks, man. Aww. Before we leave. <laughs> As I'm hugging him, just trying to pull yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, hey, hey, stop. <laughs> He'll give them to us. You know there's a ripe one. Yeah. Like, yeah. It just get, came off. <laughs> can we get a couple of leaves before we go, Elm? Let me see. I have one that's ready. One that's ready, okay. And so he plucks one yeah. off. And Put that in the pocket. It. And I ask my uh, beautiful new lady friend, she's got any cheese on her that I could take with me. I don't have any cheese, but last night overhearing that you like it, don't you worry, when you get back, one of the coolers will be filled with it, honey. Mm. <laughs> let's, let's go, let's hurry up and come back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's go so we can return. <laughs> yes. Right. All right, you are, you are led by Sprocket, not up this time, no. but down. And Sprocket in the elevator says, Vi, she doesn't want us leaving from the roof. Too much crap with the oars on. Yeah, I see, Sprocket, I mean, you, your roof is like the source of 100% of our problems. I mean, <laughs> <clears throat> no one should ever go to the roof. Literally every faction in your city has a representative on this roof. <laughs> The roof might be a Senate. Uh, that, that, that's a point. Investigate it. Think about it. For a couple seconds. <laughs> God. The elevator doors open on the first floor, and you step into a splatter painting. And you realize, Omen, that you are in the room where one of those thralls was destroyed. I say, this is terrifying. What, what beasts uh, have wrought this crime? <laughs> oh, Sprockens, 
got to be something we can do about this. It's vile. Yeah, some, someone better do something about that. Yeah. Ugh. What the hell happened? I know. I mean, that's... Who that's, could know? That's my first question. Well, we should just walk right by it and not think too hard about it. <laughs> Out in the alley, Edu is waiting for you in this massive enclosed carriage. It basically is like the shape of a Volkswagen van. Uh, and it's enclosed, but pulled by four mechanical horses. Yes. Mechanical? Yeah. Hmm. Come on in. This time we're going on the land. I, I'm going to walk around real quick like before I go in. I'm going to walk around and just look at the horses. Like, do they react at all? Their mechanical eyes just blink as you go by. The red lights and they just go blink, blink as you come up by them. Hmm. Just, hmm. Then I'll, I'll jump back in the, in the, in the back. More is it inventions? Isn't it fun? Uh, it, it could be. I, mean, I, guess, we'll, I guess we'll see what happens. It only took us making about 300 of them before they stopped exploding. <laughs> <laughs> and these away you ones. go. Right. These, are, these are the good ones. These are the, these are the yeah. safe ones. Hey, Sprocket, are these the safe ones? <laughs> Sprocket doesn't answer. <laughs> you ride now on the street level of Ravnica, and it is as wondrous as up in the sky. Giants that make those Gimp mass giants actually look puny, thunder by as you go down the street, a dragon soars over, you see elves going by in swan carriages, creatures you don't even have names for, uh, shops selling things you're not even sure what it is, but like there are blinking lights, uh, there are what look like maybe you see these tracks with little boxes on them moving on the tracks. You're not sure what they are. I'm going to get one of those. Hmm. Until after about an hour, Edu brings the carriage up to a railing. Halt. All right, this is where you get out. And you see over the railing, there is a vast canyon. The city just stops. And you see water pouring over from underground rivers, and so you see waterfalls going down into this chasm, and you see all around this vast opening in the city, different stairways going down, and you can see countless people using these stairways. You see winged creatures. Some of them look like giant bats flying up out, some flying down. You see a giant balloon going down that has a spider motif all on it, and Edu says, down there, that's the realm of the Golgari Swarm. Be safe, Sprocket will lead the way. Okay. Cool. And don't, watch out for the mushrooms. They're not good eating. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Is it good? Anything else we should not touch or eat? Oh, or see? snaky things, mushrooms, spiders, uh, turn your eyes if you meet uh, Medusa. Uh, let's see what else. Medusa. There's a like, Medusa. Medusa's down there. Yeah. Oh, yes. They, they are some of the rulers uh, in the Undercity. Cool. If you're friendly, they might uh, not turn you to stone. Oh, but I'm safe from that, right? Uh, isn't, it just, isn't it just the, the boys? Oh, well, I don't think they discriminate. No, it's too bad. <laughs> it's 2019. Yeah. Sorry, no, you're right. You're totally right. <laughs> I think they have... Very broad tastes. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's I true. I shouldn't that. put my assumptions on them. Yeah, exactly. You know what? It's like, you need to be challenged. No, you got to get out of your comfort zone. You right. learn stuff. You know what I mean? Yep. Do we have to go downstairs, or is there some kind of elevator? Travel? Yeah, do we ride one of these spider balloon carriage bats? Yes, please. Well, and here's Sprocket. So, we go down some stairs, and, but then... You come to a little crack I found, and then we'll sneak in. Okay, now you understand that we are not fairies. Yeah. How big is this crack? Uh, you, mm, I, well, I, I, I didn't, when I scouted it out, I didn't know you were going to be in the mix, but yeah. I think you'll make it. Yeah. Edu's too big. Oh. That's why I'm leading this. Yeah. You'll have to kind of squeeze. You'll make it. Okay. Even though I'm... I'm very claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, let's go. <laughs> Good info. File that away, I guess. Yeah. All right. Sprocket flying slowly so that you can keep up with him leads you down some stone steps, and it's hard not to have a sense of vertigo as you step out, and right under the steps, it is just a sheer drop down deep, deep into the earth. And you can see layer upon layer of the city. It's like you're seeing a cross section that just like cut away oh, wow. of different, it's almost like different entire cities built on top of each other. And you can see that there are creatures and people in all of these layers. Now, Sprocket takes you to one of the landings, waits for several elves with black hair and completely black eyes, like there are no whites in their eyes, waits for them to go past, waits for there to be an opening, and says, okay, now. And you're standing next to just wall, covered with moss, and he just suddenly wiggles into the moss and is away. Yeah, I say, yeah, Sprocket, this is gonna work, man. He's gone. <laughs> I'm going to start just touching it with my hands, trying to see if there's any cracks or crevices, something that's covered. There, there is an opening behind this wall of wet moss. Okay. I'll, I'll go. All right. You were <laughs> able, able to squeeze through. I'll say I'll go last since I'm the biggest, just in case. Yeah. Who else Come goes on, there? crew. It's all good. I follow her. All right. I want to show her I'm brave. I'm so also, I'm, also through, I'm like, hey, nice. As you, as you, <laughs> showing the boys how it's done. As you go through, you each, you each get completely damp, but you realize it's not just water. There's sort of kind of a viscousness oh. to it. Honestly, honestly, yeah. Does it? Do we want that oily feeling? No. But will it help Bobby squeeze through? It's true. And it's a it's, plus. Sounds moisturizing. Oh, oh, oh geez, man's right. Oh, exactly. You know what I mean? It's like it's going to exfoliate. Yeah. It's going to reveal skin's freshest layer. Exactly. Okay. Make sure we maintain moisture inside of our skin. <laughs> <laughs> I will scoot through after walnut. All right. And finally, you went see, through what, already. You said, see, I can, I can, I can watch. I mean, I, you might want me behind to help give oh, you that push. extra something. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. Well. <laughs> 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 All right. I will. I will. I don't want to, but I'm going in. All right. And I'm freaking out. <laughs> so ah! how claustrophobic are you? Very. Thoroughly. Like I could, it gets hard for me to not immediately throw up once I get in there. I'm hyperventilating. <laughs> I'm sweating. I just gonna see him disappear past this green curtain of moss and it's just, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> then I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving right. throw. Oh, no. Oh, great. Oh, no. You got it. Woo! Oh, that's nice. the true flavor. All right. Yeah. You nice. managed to keep it together. Okay. Oh, you even had the minus on there. I did have the, the wisdom. minus. Yeah. Oh. But I know they all wanted me to roll low. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you, you managed to get through squeezing very slowly. Right. I, just, I, 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 I touch my lips to the moist moss. What? Sir, and, what? No, no. And I say, I say, Bobby, you good? You got. You good? You got yeah. there? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. All right. I'm good. <laughs> All right. If everybody, it seems like everybody's able, able to handle this just fine. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to. Uh, I'm going to do so. All right. You also crawl through. As you all stand there glistening with this, this viscous goop. There's someone who wants this image <laughs> <laughs> online. You suddenly realize it's moving on you. Ah! Yeah. No, oh, 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 God, it's an ooze. It's some kind of fucking ooze. Yeah, it sure is. And, and, and Sprocket, it's also on him. He looks at you all and says, oh, I fucked up. Fuck you, Sprocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I need you all to make constitution saving throws. Oh, my. And the whole time, look, while I'm making the throw, I'm just like, fuck you, Sprocket. Oh, wow. Fuck you, Sprocket. <laughs> Wiping this stuff off. Ooh, Ooh that's smooth. 18. 17. 20. 18. Oh, yeah, 20. right? Yeah, yeah. 20. I got four, but I think I'm going to use my inspiration. Yeah, here. Yeah. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick this flavor. 12. Eight. <laughs> so inspiring. I know. <laughs> All right. 
Morgan, yeah. the rest of you manage to sort of like wiggle and it's almost like it's a second skin you shed. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like we're molting or something. Yes. Ugh. Sprocket manages to as well. But Morgane, as you try to wiggle out of it, you take six acid damage. Oh. Ew. Ugh. Okay, move, move, move. And Sprocket then starts winging quickly down this dark corridor. And it looks like you're in maybe an abandoned sewer or something else. <laughs> oh, okay. This is nice. Yeah, but it good looks to know. man-made. It doesn't look like an animal tunnel or something. It looks like a... Go ahead, go ahead and give me a nature, a nature check. Yeah, okay. okay. That's not funny, all right? <laughs> 10. So you look around, do you notice that this viscous fluid is all over everything? Mm, yep, yep, sure is. And mixed in with the stones, mm -hmm. you notice in between each column of stone that the wall actually looks like it's pulsing. So we don't, we don't want to, we want to leave. Oh. Yeah, we don't like it here. What's the uh, oh. height of this? It, it is... 10 feet from floor to ceiling. Okay. But does this go where we want to go? Well, well that's the question. Right. Right. Sprocket, so, so do, you, do you identify the deeply moist nature of this? No, and I kind of just want to stab it and see what happens, but so it's probably not a great idea. <laughs> so open to others. Ooh, okay. can we, we can spit on it. Yeah. Sprocket, you're sure this goes where we want <laughs> to go? Oh, yeah, 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 but, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he starts flying really fast. <laughs> oh. I'm following, I'm following Let's him follow. also fast. Takes... And then I also spit on it. Yes. Me too. <laughs> Running, spitting. All right, as you spit on it, the wall all around you begins to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's and no, now we know. That, and, now we know. and you see it's that me. behind you, it's starting to close. Okay, Ooh. let's run. I pick up the speed. It is time yeah. to go. All right. I need you to make a group dexterity acrobatics check what? to see if you can together get out of here before it closes in behind you. Acrobatics? No, it's got to be in there. It's oh, it has, there. it has to be in there. Because this is a combination of your natural dexterity and your ability you to, to wiggle thing, through things. Yeah. <laughs> And this is a group check, so I'm just looking for more successes than failures. 12. You said it's a what, what check? Dexterity acrobatics. OK. Uh, acrobatics 5, 10, 11. 19. OK, I'm just going to give it a try. Negative 1. <laughs> 11. All right. There are three successes and two failures. You just get out okay. the other side. Uh, what is the exit? Yeah, yeah, this is a great question. Yeah. So the exit, it looks like it has stalactites. And as you, the last person runs through Bobby, it crashes down. And you see above it two eyes no. looking down at all of it. Not a stalactite. It is, in fact, a tooth. tooth. The whole thing is We the came worm. in the butt. We came in through the butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, we did. That was, oh. Yeah. yeah. All right. And, well, we should definitely like, take a moment. I'm, I'm, I'm actually just going to say this as I'm say, We all need to take a moment and just accept what happened. <laughs> Come to terms with it. Yep. Come to terms with it. And Manage maybe we it. never speak of it again. No one else has to know. I agree with that. Agreed. And if it does, if it does come up, let's say that we went in the front <laughs> instead. And came out another front. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, <laughs> who, may know, who may know what strange beasts lurk below? Exactly. Maybe they only have mouths. They won't know they were here. That's yes. true. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah, well, you should be. <laughs> Wait, didn't you say you found this entrance? Yeah. Yeah, but see, I'm really small, and I was flying in okay, the air. Sure, I high-fived you, okay? Yeah. Like, that's, there's a code. And that means that you've come through this way before. <laughs> you knew this. How many well, times a day do you go back and forth through yeah. this? I, I guess it didn't notice me. I'm really, really sorry. It's right. okay, it's buddy. Right. It's all right. 
Is this, this so it, the mouth just closed, but we see it's a monster. Yeah. A oh, yeah. wormy thing of something. Oh, yeah. But it is just stationary, its eyes gazing at you. And you can see that it, it is like in, completely encased in the wall. Oh, yeah. It's just are the, part of it. It just lives here. It's part the, of the ecosystem. Yeah. Are the teeth accessible? Its mouth is closed. Yeah. Okay. Accessible? Well, what do you want to do with these <laughs> teeth? I want the teeth. You just, you just want to get one of these teeth? I want the teeth, yeah. Hey, we might have to come out this way. This is true, okay. I'll get, yeah. on, I'll get on the way out. We'll get one on the way out. Okay. We'll, exit, okay. we'll exit through the gift shop. Gift shop, yeah. <laughs> there is a sudden gust of wind. That You're in a corridor. You basically came out <laughs> in, in a T-junction. How does this wind smell? Yeah. <laughs> it smells like nutmeg and rotten eggs. And it is coming from the right. Very specific. Yeah. I think he's Sprock actually been here. Sprocket says, we got to move well, this yeah. way. Okay, okay sure. Okay. Is he pointing in the direction of the smell? The opposite direction. Okay, okay. I like that. Fair enough. All right. I say, I say are you taking us to another asshole? <laughs> <laughs> is this how today is going to go, Sprocket? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. At least I don't think so. Okay, well, good. <laughs> I can't I promise you. I know I feel buttons, better. But... I've been in that asshole a lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I don't want to crush him, so I lay kind of like a, a gentle finger on him and say, hey, there's nothing wrong with being in there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, just accept it. Move on. All right, all right. We better go. I don't want them to catch us. All right, so he flies ahead of you, and... After several hundred feet, this stony corridor, which looks like actual sewer. Yes. Honestly, I'm excited to see a sewer. Yeah. Like, that's how yes. fucked up this yes. has been. <laughs> Suddenly opens up into this vast underground cavern, illuminated by mosses and luminescent fungi all over the ceiling. And it is multicolored and strangely beautiful. You are on an upper level of, again, some ancient part of the city. Yeah. And there is enough illumination in here that it is almost as bright as day. Wow. You can see on the far side of, as you look down below, you see as an underground lake, you can see a wrecked fortress. That's it. Sprocket leads you on a long meandering path around the lake down toward it, and you find yourself outside this fortress. Right above the entrance, there is the symbol of a flaming fist. Boros, Sprocket says. Noted. The gates have been completely shattered open. It's old, yeah. Really old, but also, when you come up at first, you think it's soot all over it. But then you realize, once you get up close, that the walls and this entryway appear to be covered entirely by black mold. Oh. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, I was just yeah. gonna say, we gotta get a contractor in here. <laughs> I think I have to take this thing down to the studs. But you see, deep in the space, glimmering under this light all around you, something golden glimmery mixed in with this oh. dark oh. fungus inside the fortress. Okay. So it's overgrown all over. We need. Yeah. yeah so there, it, there it is. I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace. Yes. So it can be a little you stealthy. You can. So what do we get? We get plus, plus 10. 10. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Plus 10 to stealth. Um, how far is it? Can we, like, mage hand a little bit in there? <laughs> so from the gate to the far end where you see okay. the glimmering pieces. Yep. It's 50 feet. All right, so we gotta get, we gotta get 20 feet in there. Here, uh, no, we it, gotta get further than that. Here, so I'm, I'm actually, I'm curious about something. So this whole place is covered with black mold, right? I wonder if there isn't closer, a closer sample or even more of this stuff in general down here, but it's simply coated by this stuff. So I'm going to cast uh, Locate Object, right? Having seen it, having had it described to me many times, I wonder if there isn't more of it close, 
a cache of it even, or just a greater amount closer by a larger chunk that we can get it faster and get out. All right. As you reach out with your magic, yeah. you feel very proud of yourself, Omen, <laughs> for having this insight because it pings right in and slightly to your right on the other side of the entrance, but completely obscured by this by the black mold. mold. What? But do we right. want to poof the mold up? We're going to try it. OK. I think. Can we mage hand it, though, so we don't touch it? Well, we have, yeah, we have. Trust me, we have okay. inhaled enough of this. We're going to die in a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a matter of like how long this takes, right? Um, so, so there's, there's a, a, a robust sample of it close here. Yes. I would be happy to summon uh, an unseen servant to just mine this shit for us. He can go in there and haul it out. That might be nice. We can just, we, we'll just we'll hide. Yeah. Our yeah. pass without trace. Yeah. And yeah. then we will let this spiritual entity uh, secure the product. And it's his life's mission. He really wants to mine well, it's, for it's us. It's all he wants. Yes. He didn't yeah. even know. Is he a Meeseek? <laughs> Mr. Meeseek? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a Meeseek. Squeak in there. Servant. All right, so where are the rest of you hiding? I mean, it seems it's, it's pretty dark around here. Yeah, like in a dark... It's, there's ruins. There's yeah. rubble all over yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, we're basically just trying to find the, the optimal hunker down uh, while this thing goes in there and hauls these chunks. Yeah, he'll, he will do whatever I command him to do. So I, I just I point to where Omen has indicated that this stash is, and I say, I want you to... Scoop it up, bring it back over here. What are the, what are and the really TV? breathe it in. Get the mold in. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to hide as well, even though I'm real big. All right. Also, yeah. just trying to hide. OK. Yeah. Jim, are you going to hide after casting the spell? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Everyone give me a dexterity stealth check. Can do. This, oh, that's it. That is it. What? It's 35. 17. 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's well, no, even no, better? Plus 10. Plus, oh, plus you 10. You get another 10. 31. Yeah. Yeah, 30. 27. 23. Oh, yeah, 26. 23. All right. Aided by Morgane's magic, you all just, with expertise, silently vanish amid the rubble as Jim, your invisible servant, goes forward and from your vantage point, you can't see where it went mm -hmm. to grab the Omni glass, but you know it got there because there is suddenly a <laughs> as, as this sound happens, there is a sudden explosion of black mold out of the fortress entrance of where the unseen servant disturbed the mold. Uh, this, uh, did we do this in the optimal fashion? No. <laughs> this, is, this is Game Facts. Yeah. This is Game Facts. Wow. Uh, if I was I giving mean, you XP, I'd all give you bonus XP. <laughs> <laughs> we can all get inspiration back. Yeah. We've used it. He has an AC of 10. I don't know if that matters. Doesn't matter, because this is a constitution saving throw it would have to make. Uh, you have no uh, lung. Does, does he it? Doesn't, yeah. He's not a thing. Yeah. He's a mindless, shapeless, medium force. And so, your invisible servant just doopy doop yeah. doop <laughs> <laughs> And you see, you see this glimmering bit of raw omni glass bobbing in the air as, as this invisible force brings it. And then behind it, you hear a rumble coming from the earth. There is another eruption of the black mold, and suddenly the whole front of the fortress explodes, the stones hurling out, and this giant worm-like creature, which itself is covered with this black mold, comes barreling out, and it looks in some ways like a giant earthworm, except that it has spider legs ah! on either side of it. Spiders are our friends. What happened to you, Jeremy? <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> so everyone, this fine creature you can find in the Guildmaster's Guide <laughs> to Ravnica. <laughs> Gross. It is in the section appropriately called Horrors. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, I believe you. <laughs> you wouldn't lie about something like this. <laughs> and so, it comes barreling out, 
but you all are completely hidden. <sighs> Sprocket, however, is not. <gasps> oh, no! no! Oh! I, I, I want to do something. What do you do? Okay. This you, is, you, this is some, You gotta nut this. Okay, this is messed up. Um, okay, it is um, traveling along the, the stone ground, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. I use two of my wild shapes to turn into an earth elemental, okay? Let me out. And then I use earth glide. I can burrow through non-magical unworked earth and stone. While doing so, the elemental doesn't disturb the material it moves through. I want to burrow under it, and then I want to use my big elemental hands to just try and grab it. No, like you're reaching up, uh, grab the worm or grab? Grab the worm. You could also grab Sprocket. Oh, yeah, I guess I could grab Sprocket. <laughs> but that's not what I did. That's not. That's, that's not what the nut did. You, and you I, haven't done it yet. I haven't had your roll. Okay, okay, yet. okay. All right, fine. Um, no, I'm going mean, to... Just, just like... Just like a person like reaching up from underwater, just like. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So I grab Sprocket and then I'll tuck him into my elemental body and take the force of this. All right. Arm. So suddenly, this earth arm reaches up, grabs Sprocket, who is just stand, <laughs> hovering there in terror <laughs> as this giant worm was coming at him, and you cradle him away, and the worm angrily, both sort of slithers and skitters at the same time right over the spot Gross. where you are oh, and, and goes over and splashes down out of sight into the underground lake. Oh. How much does she make? You should give her a raise. I think you should ask for a raise. I think she should ask for no, a raise. It's hilarious, because she's, she's out of earshot. I say, no, it's hilarious. Let me tell you how it works. They paid me yeah. to work here. <laughs> and then I take a cut of everything they make. I mean, it is, it is chef emoji. That's all I'm going to say. Mm. Wow. You're going to give her a raise. Yes, I am. <laughs> she, she's, a valued, she's a valued team member. Agreed. And she deserves the best. I'm like waving Sprocket at you so you can see me. <laughs> oh, it's me. Look what I Thank did. you, thank you, thank you. And he kisses your earth elemental forehead over and over again. <laughs> oh, that's, that's okay. I let him go. <laughs> <laughs> be free, be free. Yeah, yeah, so, so the, the unseen servant is just holding this chunk. Yeah, I assume. And the chunk has some of that black mold all over it. Uh, I command him to, you know, Brush it off. <laughs> <laughs> when it does, there's a poof. So, Jim, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You have inspo, though. I do have inspiration if I need it. I might need it. That's the number of the beast. I'm going to use inspiration. Oh. That's so much worse. Let's Jimmy. go with the, the six. I'll use the six. Oh, boy. All right, Jim. Uh, you take 10 poison damage. Okay. Oh, oh man, I thought it was going to be way worse. Man, this is great news. <laughs> Just take your 10 points and let's get this glass out of here. Let's just get back in that thing, crawl through that asshole, jump back up, <laughs> talk to our elephant friend. We're done. All right, 10 less. But you have this kind of... <coughs> In your lung. Oh, He's got the black lung. Oh, no, no. And you also notice that all your friends are weird colors. I mean, up until now, Omen was the only one who yeah, was a strange was purple, color. Right? Yeah, it, I make this work. But Walnut is orange. Morgane is red. Uh-oh. Bobby is pink. Sprocket is, like, bone white. Uh... But I'm not, I'm not, I guess I took 10 damage. I'm gonna roll with it. <laughs> Man, I'm coming off of this leaf experience. I'm open to it. I think it's more of the effect. No, yeah. dude, it's that gateway drug. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now you gotta take twice as much black dust, yeah. you know, to get the same high. <laughs> we better get out of here, Sprocket says. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you lead the way. Uh, my, the recommendations that I would have is zero mouths and butts. <laughs> but I mean, but we might be doing one. Of but each. yeah, yeah, exactly. But if we have to choose one, you know. All right. 
Sprocket takes you to the same junction you came to before. And he says, with a very serious look on his face, okay, we have two choices. Either back through the butthole, <laughs> or we go up the main way and we risk getting caught. Ass. Butthole. Yeah, butthole. Back through the butt. Butthole. Back, back through, through the, the butt. butt. Yeah. Back through the butt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here. So, so we're like, so we're, so it's like, so no, but in the movie version, he says that, and there's like a pause, and then it's all of us like in front of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, so we're looking at his mouth, and I'm like, okay. Walnut, Morgan, isn't this an animal? Isn't that like your shit? And like, talk to this animal. Like, make it, the don't, mouth, make it not poop or. The mouth is back open. Well, that's, oh. cool. I give him a thumbs up. I say, can you talk to this thing about its hole? I don't talk to animals, but maybe we take the leaf and we just put it in its little face, and then it thinks about its childhood. So I don't think we should use the leaf yeah, on the worm. I was gonna say we <laughs> save that for some, for just something else. Something later, I'm sure we'll need it. But also, same for after school. Also, two cheese man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. You said I could get a tooth on the way out. Yeah, yeah. Get get a hold of that tooth. Oh. What? Well, that's not gonna. If you pry a tooth out of this thing, Jim, you don't know that. <laughs> oh. Just don't touch the wall. Don't spit on the walls. Okay. All Let right. You guys go first. Yeah, 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 yeah. When we rested, I got all my hit points back, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Here. So, uh, so, no, yeah, so everybody, that, everybody go. I'm going to hang out. We're going to be here. We're going to get this tooth. Don't worry about it. You guys go through. We got that. And then How we'll long is the passageway? From end to end, yeah, it's yeah. 150 feet. It's a long way. What are the, what are the okay. teeth made out of? They look like they're made out of stone. They look like. Yeah. Can I hit a, uh, a perception check or some? Go ahead and give me an intelligence yeah. investigation yeah, check. Yeah, exactly. So then we're checking out these teeth. Y'all, you're going to go. Yeah, yeah. You guys are going through. Sure. Right? That's you cool. don't know about teeth. <laughs> I know nothing about teeth. Those sure look like stalactites. Here, so, but I wonder if the past without trace might like help you sneak through this thing's gullet. Oh, it's still active, right? Yeah, but it's about seeing, not having your intestines walked on. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess pass that, through intestines without a trace <laughs> yeah. is a different spell. I don't spell. think I have that, that spell. I no, but if you it's, don't have if that. It's the butt, so it's supposed to push us out. Worst case scenario, we just get out faster than we want. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's like Mr. Yeah. Toad's wild ride. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't know what the teeth are, so I'll leave them on the just in case, but I do need some teeth. We gotta get point. it, yeah, we gotta get it. I said you can get a tooth, we can get a tooth. Yeah. But everybody else, go through, get it done. Can I earth glide under this monster uh, and not have to go through the butt and just come up on the other side? All right, so are you gonna try to earth glide before you enter it or while you're in it? No, 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 before I enter it. I wanna <laughs> skip the whole thing. All right. Fast pass. Yeah, I wanna take the fast pass. <laughs> What are the rest of you doing while Walnut takes the pass? I'm hanging out. Like, I want to make sure there's somebody back here if well, shit goes wrong. We, we, can, we can go. Yeah. I'll get teeth from something else. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. On the just in case. Okay, okay. I, I appreciate your yeah, adjusting to these situations. I'll, yeah. I'll help yeah. you get teeth. Oh, yeah? I'm, 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 in, I'm in on that mission. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. We'll let you guys do Thank that. You appreciate it. All right, Jim. Running as fast as I can yeah. through this I'm also, I'm going to run. I'm booking yeah. it. Let's, let's go. Yeah. Running. I'm making a beeline running. for that butthole. Yeah. <laughs> Running and screaming. <laughs> All right, Walnut, as you go underneath it... Come on. <laughs> you actually see that this thing has legs that are encased in the stone. Oh. And as you are burrowing through, you almost hit one of them. I need you to make a deck save to see if you dodge in the nick of time. Oh my I also God. need you to make this save. Come on. <laughs> Ooh, um, I'm going to use my inspiration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Please. You're the inspiration. Oh, oh my God. God. It, was like, it was like right here. Um, yeah, so 10. You okay. hit it. What do I take? You don't take any damage. Oh, But oh, your no. friends. Oh, oh no. No, no. Now matters are worse. So as, you don't know as what this causes. earth elemental slams into a part of the creature. You guys don't know what causes it. Suddenly, the whole tract 
just goes boom, boom. And suddenly it starts pulsing and stuff just starts flooding in from oh. the walls. Oh, oh. digestive fluids? Yes. Oh, man. It's the worst fluid. So. Can I rage right now? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, you can I mean, rage. I'm, I'm rage. I'm, I'm angry too. All right. I need everyone in, inside the creature to make a con save. Oops. Well, now you're free to keep going. <laughs> I do keep going. Oh. I'm sure they're fine. 17. 16. Get Four. a camera on that dice tray. 14. My God. <laughs> Omen. Natural 20. No. No. <laughs> it's all right, Omen. The rest of you, the rest of you, sort of glide with it and don't allow the viscous fluid to cover you too much, mm -hmm. and you are forced oh. out the other end uh, and manage to sort of roll to the side. But Omen, because you failed and you failed the DC by more than five, oh. you not only take seven acid damage. But the rest of you see, as Omen is launched out the other end, <laughs> he is launched with such force. Like a, like a rail gun? Yes. <laughs> that you hit the railing, and you all see now in slow motion, except for Walnut, Omen is about to go over the edge to fall hundreds of feet down. Acrobatics or athletics, yeah. I reach for him. All right, roll. Yeah. So we've rolled to the side. I'm making yeah. an athletic maneuver. As we rolled, I'm attempting to cartwheel and grab his leg and pull him back over the edge. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh! oh! Can you cast Ray's Dead on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> now, before I describe what happens, okay. does anyone still have their inspiration? Who has their inspiration? I do. Does that help? <laughs> I will let you make a deck save, Omen. But I don't have decks. Oh, God. This is your last chance, can my I, friend. Can I cast a spell? Do I have time? Do you have a reaction spell? Like maybe Featherfall? Feather, yeah, I was just going to say, can I cast Featherfall on... That's what, yeah, Featherfall will do. Yeah, on uh, Omen. Yeah, yeah. So you cast it, but I'm still going to reach out and try to do it, even though nothing good will happen. Uh, so does this, does, this, does this consume my inspiration? Well, first just this, roll to make yeah, your yeah. deck safe. I guess you might true. not need it. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's the number of the fucking beast. All right. You yeah, I, I, I hit him with the Featherfall as he's going over. And I say, you know, it's going to be a long trip, but... Uh, we still, we still go slow. And so, Omen, for a moment, you, your whole life passes before your eyes. I lived, it, I lived it the way that I wanted to. I did it my way, you know? <laughs> but as you're falling to your death, the gentle hands of Jim's magic catch you. Oh. It's like, but for a little while, I think it's like, you know, they say time slows down. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm glad I had these last moments to really think about some of this stuff. And it's just... Yeah. And as you, as you begin to bob slowly down, you all notice that that vessel with the spider symbols all over it suddenly changes course <laughs> and comes right toward Omen. We're almost out. And that's where we'll end. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh. I think you I think you might have founded a new a new ritual. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I needed to all come and do this at a wrestling show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> this is going to change the tenor of these matches. I'm, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. All right. Thank you, everyone, oh, oh, no. so much Absolutely. for coming. Uh, now, uh, before we run real quick, uh, I just wanted to mention, you might have seen the video before the show, um, but the Clank uh, Legacy uh, card game featuring Acquisitions Incorporated uh, is coming out fall 2019, but at East, the upper management pack that has uh, figurines of Morgane, uh, myself, Viari, uh, and of course, Jim Darkmagic, that comes, that'll be out at East. Uh, for you to check out if you'd like. D&D uh, &D Beyond Code, 25% off all items, is PAX South 19, Sh pretty clear, should be able to make sense. Uh, and of course, you may not have heard about it, but it is my great pleasure uh, to announce that we are doing an official Dungeons & Dragons book with the ampersand and everything, Acquisitions Incorporated Employee Manual. Uh, be on the lookout for more information. Thank you so much, good night. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, everyone.